All right, guys, our time machine worked. Even though the finale of Survivor Michigan is out, we're going to go back in time and talk about episode 11. But wow. we are going to acknowledge... We are going to acknowledge the future, right, guys? So is that a, we is are. that sound the time machine makes? Yeah. <laughs> he's a, good, like he's a, a computer like a, science person. He would know yeah. this, though. Right, it's like right. a TARDIS, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't make a TARDIS noise. Do you guys even know what a TARDIS is? A what? Like, I don't know. Ask saying? Boston. Okay. Who are you? So, all right. So, we are from the future, time traveling. This is your official spoiler alert that we are going to talk about the events of both episode 11 and the finale of Survivor Mission, including mentioning whoever won the season, a good amount. So, yeah, so if you have not seen the finale, stop right now. Right stop. now. Go watch it. And then stop. Yeah. Go away. Stop. Don't listen to spoilers. Don't go in any time machines. We're the only ones who have time machines we, that we stole from Mallory. So, <laughs> so, yeah. So, I am Jack, two <laughs> idols, canceling out three votes. Uh, <laughs> gentlemen. I am Sarah. And... Only got three votes the entire season, Z. Oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> zing. And There's a Z zinger right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Sam. And, Hi, Sam. Uh, <laughs> also traveling back in time, but I I did not have any idols or any votes canceled, so oh, well, um, a little bit sad. It's okay. But mm-hmm. you know, I didn't I didn't go out as in, in that embarrassing of a way, so I, I, I'm fine. Are you insinuate? Never mind. Okay, <laughs> should we start the episode? Should we just should we talk this like very quickly about the finale and that we're all losers? <laughs> yes, we are. None of us won. We Come on, what, what is, is that? Like, remember all the people that were Team KYTL. Well, team KYTL. Yeah. FYI, none of us won. So yeah, I'm glad you supported a bunch of losers <laughs> for all this time. Yeah, and I know, and as we kind of expected, like immediately after Final Travel Council, there's been. A lot of debate in the comment sections on Twitter, on Reddit, on everywhere about um, whether Mallory or Nick deserve to win. And I feel like that is going to be something that we're going to spend a lot of time on, but we'll spend that in the next episode. Yeah. Because we're, and, I have a couple of very, very wonderful characters to yeah. give their give our final goodbyes to in episode 11, and we don't want to brush over that. Some of the yeah. fan and, favorites left in this episode. Yeah. And I think... But doing this after the finale does give us some more freedom to talk about maybe some hypotheticals that end up with, you know, yeah, the seventh and sixth totally. place people. But I think all the actual discussion of what actually goes on in the finale is going to have to wait until next time. But yep. yeah. So all of your hate comments right. about why we voted incorrectly, we'll have to address those next time. <laughs> Speaking of hate, uh, there's a lot of hate going on between me and Maggie right after the <laughs> council. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The episode starts so much, like, tension. Yeah. Yeah. We had, like, a phone call between Jack and Maggie. I wonder if we should emulate that phone call right now. Whoa. Whoa. We'll need Maggie to time travel from the future as well, Jack. Yeah. Could you do that? Could you do that for her? Yeah. Bloop, 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 bloop. Maggie. Maggie. Hi. Hey. What's up? Um. Nothing. Just chilling. <laughs> I have a cold. Oh no. Maggie. I'm you sorry. Said... We were talking about. So we're starting. We're talking about episode eleven, but we're talking about it as if, like, everyone has already seen the finale. So we already gave like the spoiler <laughs> warning. Yeah. And. We're starting from after Sam just got voted off, and you and Jack have yeah. a little fight. We yeah, get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, or, well, do you guess remember exactly what you guys said? You're like, you like, yeah, it doesn't matter because you know you're just gonna get voted off next time. So, so what was? How did it? How did it start? What was? You were, who started you were patting it? on your pocket because you knew that you had the idol. Yeah. And you thought that I, I knew that everybody knew. Oh, right. oh, yeah. But I, I didn't I, notice. I just thought you were acting weird. And right before we even did that, we were really considering switching it to Mike. Yeah, because yeah. I was dumb and texted in that. 
Group yeah, because I'm thought... or, yeah, Maggie. We, me and Maggie met in the basement of the Union. Remember, like yep. I was walking to like tribal five minutes before it. Yeah, and you were like frantically like Sam, we need to change the book to money. But I, I got sent home. I got sent packing, and like I missed a great fight. Like at, Nick was like visibly like smirking while you guys were fighting. Yeah, I thought I had a good reason to be mad at you, and I thought it was completely understandable that I would flip on you. Yeah. Totally. Jack, you were like, <laughs> you, were, you were being really, you were like, well, you're going to go home this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're like, and Meg, you said something like, yeah, well, maybe, yeah, but as soon as you play your idol, you're going to go home next week. You're like, yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever, Maggie. And like, you completely, <laughs> whatever. Maggie completely said what was going to yeah. happen. You're like, well, yeah. you're going to play your idol on yourself and then get voted off next time. You're like, yeah, well, 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 all right. We just spoiled the entire episode right there, you know? Maggie, like, yeah, Maggie that's, spoiled. That's exactly, that's that's exactly what's going to be you're going to see. Have we, <laughs> have we discussed how I predicted so many things in Survivor? Yes. <laughs> you are literally like the Levana of season two. <laughs> <laughs> Starting episode one with the earth sign thing. Yeah. The, oh, oh my, yeah, yeah, we can talk about that. Is oh, an Earth right. sign. The by one. The way. I think she's. I the think she's the one Earth sign. We didn't. I yeah. guess we didn't check some people. I think we checked everybody. But yeah. Oh, that's true. I think Mallory might be the only Earth sign of season two, yeah. which explains a lot. Explains a lot. And further, I mean, she's very down to earth. Yeah, she was very down to earth. And then I said Sam was going to go home first. Mm-hmm. Then with mm-hmm. my exit, I predicted everything else that happened in the game. True. <laughs> From like <laughs> me giving Nick like a rock, then he finds the idol. I gave you know you the, the toe necklaces. collar, and you lost in the. <laughs> oh, yeah. you did choke! Wow. And yeah. then I said you. Two you are gave me an idol because end. you said. <laughs> Gave me an idol because I needed an idol and I didn't have one, so like I would have needed a real idol. And you gave Mallory the notebook that she used in her final yeah. tribal I'm just speech. saying, like. And you gave <laughs> you gave Mike nuts because he's nuts to work with Sarah, and then you gave him a knife for when to stab her when she stabs him in the back, and he didn't take yeah. her advice. He got stabbed in the back. You know, you can't win them all. Wow. But actually, really, real actually survivors really always come that. back, right? Real survivors always. <laughs> my favorite part. Who said that? Wait, Maggie. Who said that? My roommate, that? who's never. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. And then I remember after we left that tribal, we were walking out in a group, and then everyone had to go a different way, and then it was just me and Maggie, and I got so nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's when we sat down and had our little chat. That was also really intense. Yeah. Oh yeah. We did record all the parts where I yeah. was crying to you. I, yeah. I was like, I'm just, I'm not giving this to the show. <laughs> yeah, you were like, you basically said this is the death of my game, and then yeah. Sarah was like, well. Sorry. I know you're like I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> so well, I just yeah. like I I feel I felt like I couldn't do anything at that point because I knew you were so mad at me, and like I just I felt like I couldn't keep you in the game for a week longer. Yeah, and I didn't um, want to lie to you. Mike wanted Nick gone that week, and you convinced Mike to do Maggie instead. Yeah, because Maggie was so mad, and I thought she was a bigger threat. Actually, I actually like think it's really interesting how Maggie went from someone that was kind of like seen as this crazy character in the beginning to the final seven becoming literally the biggest threat to win the game. Mm-hmm. I think that's something that like is pretty underreported. That like yeah. Maggie actually had the a, enormous threat level at the time she was voted off. And like all the people in the early episodes, like oh, I know Maggie's not going to be along bro, like along the uh, around yeah. that long, but. Um... But, you know, she'll be fun while she's here. And then she makes it to, like, literally the penultimate episode, you know? Yeah. So let's talk about, like, that week and what was happening specifically. Yeah. Jack and Maggie. So, that Like, what were you guys doing? So Jack was not talking to me. And I was so bothered by it. So I just kept being so annoying. I sent him, like, a thousand messages. But Wait, I actually remember 
I was so nervous. This was probably one of the weeks I was like the most nervous. And I was like, I really need to make sure Jack just doesn't talk to anyone except for me, Mike, and Mallory. Yeah. So I kept, I kept like, texting. I forgot what I texted you, Jack, but I was like, I was just, be, I was like, don't talk to Nick or Mike and Mallory might not trust you. Yeah. I feel like so much of these yeah. two episodes <laughs> happened over text. Like a lot of like, because I feel like. You know, obviously, it was very stupid of me to do what I did, but, like, I feel like I look even, like, stupider, almost, or just, like, it's kind of just, like, really, I mean, there's no defending me wasting my own that way, but, like, there's a lot more context by seeing, by just seeing, like, the immense, like, texting pressure (laughs) that was put on me. (laughs) I mean, I thought I gave you a pretty good reason to work with me. No, you did. So why didn't you? I mean, this can be for later, but this is... Nick wrote this enormous paragraph in the Discord about how Jack didn't work with him at the final seven. But if he would have talked with him, he had this big plan to like work with Jack and Maggie that like just never ended up happening. Mm-hmm. Like, like, Jack, explain your thought pro- Like, why didn't you work with Maggie? Ego. <laughs> um, well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of reasons probably, but. Um... I think for me, like, at least what I was consciously doing, like, unconsciously ego, but uh, consciously, I was just like, I feel like I have a solid path to the final four with Sarah, Mike, and Mallory, because I just, like, I thought Mm -hmm. that we were all all in on that at that point, and that's, like, what I was getting from, you know, all of you, basically, like, just through texting, like, hey, like, just keep it solid, like, this week, just, like, use your idol, and that'll prove that you are in with us. And, like, I feel like that's just so obviously when I'm saying this now that that's, like, just the dumbest thing ever. But I was just, like, so frazzled by, like, the past week. I was just, like, I want to keep it simple. I want to for Wait, sure be a Wait, but at the same time, I want to, the like, one person who was loyal to you the entire game was me. Well, yeah, but until when you just I tried to vote me off the week before. like Had been lying to me. Yeah, which was I new, think the bigger thing our, is like our whole relationship. So then, why do you like played in the season? I think a lot yeah, of it, it definitely did. A lot of it wasn't really, really film, disappointed I about that. I think a lot it of it was. was. I don't know. It, it was. We had meetings There's every a lot week. That was you know? just not uploaded then. <laughs> like another sign Jack should have saw. So you know, remember how I threw the balls in Jack's bucket? Yeah. yeah. Fun fact, actually. I threw yeah. one successfully in, and then at the end, when it was Jack versus Mallory, he lost by one. <laughs> oh my god! So I think I might have done that to you on oh. it. Well, but the thing is, after yeah. that, well, well, not an accident. Yeah, no, that, not an accident but, at all. So <laughs> but I wanted to say I met with Jack after oh, yeah. about that, and he was like, "Oh, that was actually like a good move yeah. by you." He was like, "Cause now p- other people don't think we're as close as we are." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. And I uh, swear, like, uh, uh, yeah. that challenge, which also wasn't captured, yelling like, Jack, like, she's throwing it in your bucket. Yeah. I know. I just think that, like, this is the thing that I'm, I've always been confused about is the fact that Sarah and Mike and Mallory were willing to vote for Jack for a lot of the week. And Jack, and it's like, admittedly, like, everyone, it was like a known fact to everyone in the game. At that except point, for that, Mike. Like, except for Mike. Didn't Mike? Didn't Mike know that like there was no, a plan? Like he said no, that. Like, I didn't. He was like on vacation. He was not in Ann Arbor, so I I think I might have told him there was like some sort of a plan, but I don't think he was ever really on board with it. I think. That's the thing, Jack. Like yeah. Jack, what did you think about that? Like, did you think that that was concerning that like they were willing to vote you off, or did you just like think that they were your only chance? No. Well, it's just because everybody wanted to vote me off, but then they were the ones who decided yeah. not to, you know? It was just like, and I felt like, you know, it wasn't like that I was completely innocent and they decided to turn on me. It was like, yeah, I had, like, they had caught me in a lie and had a good re like, everybody had a good reason to vote me out, but, like, they were the ones that decided not to. And I guess I kind of read yeah. more into that than was really there. Uh, you know, it was obviously much more for strategy than for... Yeah, things. yeah. Because Maggie, friends. didn't you basically, wasn't that your pitch to Jack? Like, they were willing to vote you off. They're going to vote you off the second no, you aren't immune. I said, I said yeah. that them telling you about the idol wasn't saving you. It was getting rid of Sam. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Although, um, I remember, like, Mike and I were like, but if we do save Jack, 
then I think he would be more inclined to be loyal to us. Yeah. It was yeah. more like we had decided to save Jack first before deciding who to vote off. Yeah. And Justin, and also in my mind, I thought I was at least guaranteed five because I thought that like, you know, that Mike hated Nick so much that they, he would want to get rid of Nick before me. So like, even like, I thought I did not really think that they would want to turn on me at six because it just like, wouldn't make sense. And I, I still kind of to this day think it was not the best move there to was. Me at six, but like, I feel like you, I, I, I feel like Sarah, if you get rid of but me the at thing five, is, I couldn't I like have, I couldn't have gotten rid of Nick we can get more since had an idol. Well, at least then split the votes because he didn't play no, the idol. So if we actually won through like the plan that him. I thought was going to happen, like yeah, would she have? Like she didn't. Mallory didn't tell me if about they were splitting I votes. So she she's still voting for Lucy. Like I feel like yeah, she's going to vote for Lucy and still uphold her word. Down. And you know, at least you get an idol out of the game. Yeah, and then you're still at least you have Mike at four who will. But who would I go to the end? Bring you to the end, Mallory. Mallory. Yeah. It depends on how it goes down. I think Maggie and Abby would not have voted for Sarah, and everybody else would have. Mm-hmm. I think, okay, we can discuss yeah. this next time. But yeah, this, <laughs> this is a finale. This is a finale but, episode. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I thought it was surprising that the week that I went home, no one was interested in at all in getting rid of Sarah. I thought I was going to yeah. get at least three votes. I don't know why. People no considered it. There. I was like, Sarah just revealed that her closest relationship is Mike. Like, why is no one voting for Sarah? Why, why are people so excited to get rid of me when I just broke two of my main relationships? Like, why aren't we going for Sarah, who clearly is a threat? I guess there, there wasn't any way to get four votes on Sarah, though. But because... all Jack had to do was vote for Sarah. Yeah, we it's, it's really up to Jack. I could have gotten Luke yeah, I feel like and if, Nick to vote yeah. for Sarah. Lucy and Nick would do it if Jack would do it. Yeah. I was actually, I I don't know why Nick and Lucy didn't vote for me. I think it's it's because they knew it wasn't going to happen, so they were like, yeah. might as well just be on the right side of the vote at that point. Yeah. But yeah, it all, it all really depended on Jack that week. I also think that, like, you had talked with both Nick and Lucy and given yeah. some indication of wanting to work with them in the future. So I feel like since they knew that there wasn't votes to get rid of you, might as well like, to, like burn might as well not burn bridge. the bridge. Yeah, because yeah. at that Even point still, you would promise though, Lucy final four. For me, all all Jack had to do was play his idol for me and vote for Sarah. He didn't have to do yeah. that. He could save his idol and vote for Sarah, and then no, he'd be in the majority he four. He would have had to vote for. He would have had to play the idol to get rid of all my votes. No, what if him, you, him, Nick, and Lucy voted for Sarah and Jack saved his idol? I guess, yeah. Then he could have then he probably, could've... he could have maybe even made it. I don't know. That's an interesting. I'll, I'll see you about that. I think that's what Nick wanted to propose to Jack. But since Jack didn't meet with Nick, he never heard that. And I'll give a lot of the credit to that to Sarah for making sure that Jack didn't talk to Nick. You really controlled Jack this week. Like, you told him, don't I talk know. to Maggie, don't talk to Nick, and then he just didn't talk to them. And I think that if, <laughs> I think that, that honestly was a very important move, because if he had talked to Nick, there's a good chance that you might have gone home that week. And that I was, know. like, I think the most vulnerable you really were. I was so that nervous point. that week. And the fact that Jack didn't talk to Nick is really what made sure that you did not go home. I want to talk, I, I, since it didn't make the episode, I want to hear um, your thoughts on you talking with Mallory and like the meeting with Mallory where you gave her the journal. Because I feel like that was really important, but it didn't end up getting recorded. We didn't recorded. have any recording of it. Yeah, I just like basically told her like how the game worked at that point, like how you have to think about like, you know, you want your closest allies on the jury in the sense that they'll vote for you, but they can't be so bitter that like, you know, you just basically, I feel like I explained, I don't know. I don't think she realized jury management was like a thing she needed to consider, but I mean, I don't really think she did because she was just so nice the whole time. But like, I think that maybe if we didn't have that conversation, she might not have voted for Mike. Yeah. I do think that like, yeah, that that what putting Mike on the jury was pretty big for her. I do think that Matt Mallory's form of jury management was being nice to everybody 
to every single person on a jury, whether or not they respected her game, were still like, wow, Mallory's so nice. Like, yeah. you know, I do think that was part of her strategy. I mean, it's for, it was her personality, but I do think that she, it was like a part of her strategy too. I want to talk about Mallory. Same thing is like Mallory going and taking Lucy out for ice cream in this episode. I feel like that was like another really big thing that she did. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm looking at my text with Jack. Can I just address you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> like right after Tribal, Jack says, I couldn't fall asleep till like 3 a.m. LOL. Oh, wow. Well. And then. Me neither. And then we're, <laughs> we're like getting really hyped for the challenge. And Jack was like, I'm going to. I'm gonna be seal the bacon level of adrenaline for this, and then he like gets last in it. Wait, five what? seven? Oh, no, 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 seven. Lost. I get second place. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I was thinking of the memory. No, one. come okay. on, come on, give me some credit. This, this is my best challenge performance of the entire season. Okay, you're, right, you're, you're one. Almost, you're yeah. one ball away you from winning. I was. I was. I choked so hard. Like, oh. uh. Okay, and then you go. I just want to play a very upfront and honest game from here on out because the opposite didn't really work out. Every for me. but the thing is, it did. It's like God. <laughs> yeah, like, I just got caught. You actually, yeah. you actually started to get bad when you started to play more upfront and honest. That's yeah, like, exactly. That was- <laughs> exactly. I should have reflected yeah. more. You sent a screenshot of like you typing in to the group chat, like of everyone. You're like. Any chance of a new idol clue feeling empty with only one idol? <laughs> and you're like, should I send this or is it too cocky? <laughs> and then you're like, we need to hashtag stay humble now. Yeah. And then you sent me texts of Maggie. Yeah. And I was like, I, th- I was like, I think if we do vote her, we should be honest. And then you, you were like, you were nervous that she had an idol. Mm-hmm. And then you said for TV reasons, you kind of wish that you had just gotten me out. <laughs> You said it was the right strategic decision to get Sam. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, um, I think I was playing this as if we were in this together. No, you know, because you keep being like, I fully that, yeah, I think that's I like, like the core of this is like, I thought that we were yeah. just like in it to the end. Like, I w- together. yeah, like I was going to bring you to the end at this point for sure. Like, there's yeah. no doubt. Because I was acting like I was nervous. Yeah. I was like, do you think Mike is going to flip? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm nervous yeah. about that. And you were like, I don't think we have any other option at this point other than to trust Mike and Mallory. Yeah. yeah you were playing me like a And then of- you're like, we don't really have a lot oh, yeah. of options at this point. Yeah. John Jack, I need to tell you basically all these texts that Sarah made, like basically guilting you and making you feel like, oh, it's like us in it together yeah. is what yeah. saved her life in this game because she basically prevented you from talking to Nick and Maggie. And if yeah. you had, there's a chance that you could have joined them. And voted on yeah. Sarah. Yeah, I think no matter what, I would have played my idol. Like, I, I really, I, Wait, like, here's... I really do think, like, especially, yeah. especially, especially if I was flipping, like, I think I would have played this insurance, just like, even if they're just like trying to just like screw with me and to vote me out. Like, I, yeah. it, Wait, it, Jack. I really feel like there's no chance I didn't play the idol that week, but I could have made a better Fair move enough. than voting out Maggie. Yeah. I, I found, I found some gems. Oh, no. <laughs> Just because I'm sharing literally every idea with you. Mm-hmm. How bad would it be if I didn't use my idol to see? <laughs> but then you immediately were like, Mike and Mallory would probably be pissed. Not worth it. I'm just scared that they'd turn on us. Mm-hmm. And then I said, yeah, I think we really might need a clean slate to solidify this alliance. <laughs> I really would like to think that Mallory and Mike wouldn't flip on us for Nick and Lucy, but Def don't know that 100%. Mm-hmm. And then you were like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> And then you were like, you wouldn't trust me either. That's why you were shooting yeah. in my basket. Aw. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Basically, Jack was not just, like, he was being guilt-tripped the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Like, you definitely thought about playing it. Yeah. But I think you just wanted to play it safe. Yeah. I, I think Mike and Mallory also helped the guilt trip. It was, mm-hmm. it was like, yeah. a lot of manipulation. <laughs> like, yeah. Matt, Mallory was pretty manipulative this, this week. She like, was. She was. She, People... After she won, she was like, so we basically are going to try to get Jack to play the idol. It's kind of just like him, like buying his loyalty with us, mm-hmm. like yeah. No, okay. Just like so, oh, okay. Already getting into this, I know we probably wouldn't, but like people were saying that Maggie, that like, or no, not Maggie, that like Mallory had as much influence as like an egg sandwich or something. Like that's just that's yeah. bollocks, and they know it. Like yeah, Mallory, that's not true. like. Like, cause, cause she just played the part and, you know, it probably was like 95% true about, you know, just being like this honest, like trustworthy person. But then like, there wasn't really a difference when in the 5% of the time that she was lying to her teeth, which made it like, 
He's, 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 I want two things. I want to address two things. Okay. One, Mag- Mallory in her individual meeting with me and her individual meeting with Jack, for, like around the merge, told both of us separately that she wanted to see us, me, like she yeah. told me, I want you to win, Sarah. She told Jack, I want you to win. So I was like, oh, yeah. oh like Mallory is going to do everything she can to get me exactly. to win. Yeah. <laughs> like she literally played to our uh-huh. egos she and did. did it so well. And then, um, two, Jack was looking at Mallory the week he went home to see if she was lying. I, yeah, because he he thought she would be the worst liar. I literally was because we we met get any signs. we met literally right before tribal. Like I, we, I think we we also met we yeah. met I think a couple times that week. But there was like one time of actual like four of us like of this unnamed four alliance where um, mm-hmm. yeah like literally right before tribal and i like i i thought she was talking too like she didn't seem nervous at all like she looked at me in the eye like i, I, yeah. know, she, I think yeah okay this is definitely yeah. getting to next week's episode but like i think boiled down everything about oh playing the social game oh never getting a vote against her oh i was like kind of pissed off at nick whatever i think like really my vote like the core essence of my vote for Mallory was that by mallory I thought I was outplayed by Mallory. I thought she like lied to me. She did something I didn't expect her to do. Where as Nick did just me too. Nick just did exactly what I expected to at every turn. Like he didn't do anything me to the surprise me. Too. He didn't do anything to like trick me or like any like there's no like deception. I felt like on his part that he was something different than he was. Like he just was what he was. Whereas Mallory No, Jack, yeah. remember? Remember, I think they they cut this part out of my final tribal. Mm-hmm. But I said because I think it's because I said I was gonna vote for Mallory. Because I was like this throughout this entire game, there weren't many things that surprised me. But when Mallory didn't I didn't flip on Nick mm-hmm. and voted me, was when I was like the most surprised this entire game. Mm-hmm. I thought both of them were a hundred percent gonna flip, and that just like really yeah, like that just threw me off. And Nick never did anything like that to like yeah. to just like shake me to, off. Yeah, my feet. exactly. Like I was exactly. shook. I was shook. I was like, I'm hundred percent. Like, I'm, I'm winning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> after that meeting, I was like, I won. <laughs> I, I, that's what I thought about after every meeting with Mallory. It was like, all right, I won. I have this. I have her in my bag. I have, yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think that like, and, Ma- and Mallory seemed even if she wasn't at first, like, it wasn't like she was. Oh, I'm gonna purposely play down how much yeah. I know about the game. Yeah. And like, act like I know nothing. She actually did know nothing, but she knew enough by the end to know that her lies would carry more weight than Nick's mm-hmm. lies would. Like, she, she even and said then, that at Final yeah. Tribal. She's like, I knew that because mm-hmm. of the perception people had of me, that my lies, that people would believe my lies because I was known as, like, the girl that can't lie. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she was, and... that's, like, such good, she, she knew exactly how everybody perceived her. And I think that was very important. And being a good player is knowing how other people perceive you. Also, like people are like, oh, she didn't actually see through my trick, which is, I think is true. But she also she still surprised me either way because I didn't think she was that loyal to Nick, which also might be Nick's doing. But at the end of the day, her loyalty won her the game because mm-hmm. she was so loyal that she like yeah. didn't flip. I don't Everyone know. called it the opposite in, of it. Liz. In any case, in any case, she surprised me. And and I think um going off of what you said sam about like her being like realizing her place in the game i think that was kind of nick's kind of fatal flaw in his final travel console speech is i think he thought that he was pulling more strings than he was and like i think he actually obviously did have more of an impact in the final eight vote than we did realize at that point but i feel like he just really was making himself seem like he was a manipulator through like even more votes than that rather than playing the like scrappy underdog game which he did a really good job of playing the scrappy underdog game and i think nick did play a really great game but i just felt like there yeah. was a discord between what he was claiming as, as, as his game at a final travel council versus what actually yeah. happened i also wanted to say that i think i also on the whole luck train people were saying like oh nick did a great job of building that relationship with mally which is true but then i also was kind of like he got lucky that he started off in a tribe with mallory and lucy Whereas, like, Ohana people, we had, like, all the threats on our tribe, so then I was also, like, that was also just kind of lucky. Yeah. Although he did do a great job of, like, maintaining that relationship. But then he did a bad job of maintaining his relationship with Lucy, you know? Right. And got somebody who was, you know, sharing idols with him and stuff like that to just, like, vote against him at the very last point. And... Yeah. 
So we can get yeah, into we're, um, <laughs> we're getting into a lot of all this stuff. Sorry, <laughs> but, Jack, and I, Jack and I just really dig. Sorry, I just I, I'm, I'm I'm I get really passionate about this subject. Yeah, what we should talk like, about though is Sarah and Jack and all the manipulation that went into guilting Jack into playing his idol. Mm-hmm. I think we're really starting to see Sarah kind of get a win- a villain's edit here with. Kind of you saying... Well, I've had one for so long. This is, I think, where it literally comes to the point where you say, I'm such a villain. Bad. <laughs> and because yeah. you are telling Jack, I want to go to the final say, three. Though, I do, I do want to say, though, and even Brittany mentioned this to me because she had watched all the videos at the time, that, like, only my super villainous confessionals are shown. Like, I'm not always that villainous. Yeah, but that's what's best for TV. <laughs> I know. That's how... But I just, like, that's... Yeah. That's also why a lot of people... Are, we're saying, like, awful social game, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I will say, I think that, like, for as well for everybody in general, the most extra, like, confessionals you yeah. have are the, the snippets and sound bites that are the best are always the ones. Like, Kevin obviously wasn't 100%. always like that in his confessionals either. You know? I feel like Kevin probably and, like, was. I feel like Kevin for that for... exactly is. <laughs> well, yeah, but, or, like, <laughs> I don't know. Even then, like Kevin had a lot of videos where he would yeah. just talk about. Uh, so this week, uh, I'm trying to target this person about. I, I think this would be good for my strategy because of these reasons. Like, but instead of hey, including that's that fair, part, that's fair. we include Kevin saying this person's so stupid, this person's an idiot, blah blah blah. And I think that like part of the reason for your edit, Sarah, also had to do with the fact that you lost the game. And Peter, there are already a lot of people saying, "Wow, Sarah was robbed." And I think yeah. that's so that. annoying. If I had won, I would have gotten like a way better edit. I mean, you got a good well, edit. I don't know. I, I, what's your, defi- you what edit. your definition of good is? I don't you know. got an edit where people on YouTube are all saying that you were potentially the best survivor player ever. So I don't know how much you can <laughs> complain about the edit. But yeah, there are some negative it, aspects. It's mostly the social game, mostly yeah. the social aspect. To be fair, I think there were two to three. Because like, I did build good bonds with yeah. people. Yeah. I do but think I that think Abby also... and Maggie would not have voted for yeah. you if you had got to the end, though. And but, the, and uh, show. Um, if it was against Mallory and Lucy, though, remember when we went into Final Tribal, Maggie literally wrote "Free Sarah" on her yeah. stomach. I, I, that was after you were voted off, though. And I think, and like even but Abby remember, said, no, I I specifically remember right when I joined yeah. the jury chat, Maggie was like, like the first messages I read in the past were of Maggie being like, "Wait, what happened?" She was like, "I was just war- warming up to voting yeah. for Sarah." I think so. Yeah. Maybe I'm just remembering this. But I feel like me and Sam did like a lot of like, pr- or at least I did like a lot of like just pro Sarah for, like recon in the um, Maggie. Maggie. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's go. Let's ask the horse's mouth or whatever. All right. Let's... So Maggie has just been voted out of the game. Rest in peace, Maggie. Rest in peace, Cupcake. We now have lost half of Cupcake. Uh, and it's the frosting on the cupcake, so it's the best part. Were you you were expecting it, Wait, right? To go home. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> we told her. Yeah. I mean, that's my so, the gift. I, I, remember- so, like, I, don't th- I don't think she would have done the gifts if she didn't think she was going home. You know? yeah. If she didn't think you were going home, right? <laughs> oh, man. Who one knows? of the fun- funny things I remember from this tribal is that Lucy had her mom and sister visiting. And Lucy was like, oh, my mom and sister want to come to tribal council. And Maggie, you were like, um... I think that maybe it'd be better if they waited until after. No, I just didn't want them to steal my moment. I was like, this is my week. I know I'm going home. Like, I don't want to have to censor myself because your family just happens to be here. (laughs) Yeah. No, no, Lucy. Oh, Maggie. (laughs) Also, my mom was asking, she's like, is Maggie wearing your glasses? And I was like, no, but those do look like my glasses. They did, yeah. Were were you, I was trying to remember, were you trying to dress, you were wearing a Hawaiian, a Hawaiian like dress too. Like, were you, what was, what was going on with your, with your uh, outfit in Tribal Council? I just, like, wanted to wear something fun, and I thought it, like, was reminiscent of you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> you definitely, you really had the jury on your side, Maggie. We were, we were really pro <laughs> yeah. It didn't, it didn't show us a Tribal, but we were very upset when you were voted off. And I think that's part of the reason why we wanted to get rid of Maggie right away, because we knew that, like, she would sweep a jury, like, I, everybody was yeah. so sympathetic to you at that point, Maggie. Well, you yeah. went from yeah. You went from literally from zero to hero, from the person that was almost voted off to you found the idol, you yeah. had the showman's. You really got to, to fulfill all of your survivor goals. Did seeing yeah. that stuff in my room really freak you out that one day? 
What the? F- I remember. So I took that video that actually showed Jeremy's phone number. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And I wonder I, if he's got any text from that. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I remember I hung everything up, and then you guys came over right after that. Yep. That was the day that... Uh, I don't remember being... I thought it was funny. Yeah, I remember being like, wow. I remember thinking, like, wow, Maggie has done a lot of things. I was like, shoot, I haven't, like, done a lot of this stuff. But I, I didn't necessarily think that I was like, oh, I need to vote Maggie off. But I guess, like, Sarah, I was also never going to vote you off. I didn't know I had been affected Sarah's perception at all. I honestly don't even remember that. Like, I forgot that I'd seen it. So I don't think it affected me that, that much. That was the day that the three of us watched Survivor, and then Jack wasn't there. And then I told you, Maggie, that we should, that Jack had idols. That was that day. Yeah. Crazy but, day. If it had been, like, if everything had gone down the way it had gone down, and then it was me, Mallory, and Lucy at the finals, what would you have, like, like who, depending on how final tribal council went, how would you have voted? There's no way I was voting for you. Really? Because I, I remember when I joined the chat, yeah. you said you were warming up to Yeah, vote for but of me. course I said that because you were gone. <laughs> no, but it was before I joined. <laughs> I think I, I don't think I would have. Yeah. Okay. Well, would it have mattered how it, the FTC would have went? Maybe. Who would you have voted for then? Between Mallory, Mallory and Lucy? Yeah. Mallory? Fair. There you go. Because she would have told her same story, which was like, mm-hmm. and she had the journal. So probably Mallory. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I would have voted for you, Sarah, but like, I don't know. I think if Nick- I actually wrote my final tribal council speech and I found it. Oh, that's oh, embarrassing. No. <laughs> Maybe you can. Maybe you no, can, uh, yeah. no, because I wrote it at like final four. I was like, just in case. That's true. Okay, that's I'm not gonna write it right now. I'll take it back. Yeah, and I was preparing myself for all the bitterness. I was like, um, I know they're gonna be bitter, so I can't be egotistical. I need to play to what they want to hear. I had like all my um, all the potential questions yeah. ready and like what, how I would answer them. I was gonna be like really, really. <laughs> Did, didn't know. you like watch past um, final tribal councils on YouTube? Todd's, yeah, I watched Todd's final tribal council, and I had I watched like I, I searched the best final tribal council performances, <laughs> and then I wrote my speech and answered the questions based on that. <laughs> who who's, oh. who would be the genre bear of us? Is Maggie is genre bear? He like won, um, Todd won John Robert's vote at that final travel council. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, the only reason I voted out you, John Robert, is because I thought you were the biggest threat. And I'm just like, you were the biggest threat. Yeah. I had that in my yeah. speech. I was like, oh my God. I, I incorporated so much of Todd in my. Well, <laughs> we, can discuss, so we can discuss final four and yeah. final tribal stuff in the next episode. All right. Yeah, you keep um, reeling us in, Sam. So Sorry. Conclusion, <laughs> the conclusion is you probably would have voted for Mallory, but there was a chance you were voted for me. A yeah. Chance. Okay, but your speech so you're saying would have had to been really good. I don't know. What do you think about you as a character throughout the season? Do you think that you reflected the character you wanted to do? Did you re- do everything you wanted to do out there? Do you think that anything like wasn't represented that you think should have been represented more? Yeah, no. I think I think I played it out how I wanted it to be played out. No regrets. <laughs> My only regret is I just wish that more of me and you were was shown. So I, I feel like a lot of that yeah. was kind of skimped on. The only thing Although that, that's not really a regret. The, like, a, a, <laughs> that one, um, you were in my studio, and I was recording it, but somehow it messed up. But I got, oh, you, yes, yes, I yes. got you to say that there was room on the raft or something. Like I was like, we, knew, we thought you were going home that week, and I, like, mm-hmm. I was being so sneaky in our meeting and i got you to say so many embarrassing things yeah i know i remember that so well i remember that so well because i remember thinking about that after the fact after that tribal council and you're wait and it wasn't recorded yeah no it like glitched out with the there wasn't sound for the second half of it or something yeah i remember i I got him to say i was watching through that i was so disappointed because i saw that video in the drive and i was trying to watch through it i was like oh this is gonna be so good for the episode and there's like nothing usable from the whole video. And I was like, shoot. You were just like calling me out and me somehow not realizing that you like knew all this stuff. I'm like, why is she asking all this? This is weird. But and just <laughs> me looking like a complete buffoon. So actually, I'm kind of glad that it's not on there. <laughs> this season's 
I, I might have said this before, but the season's a lot like Pearl Islands, where you have by far like the biggest character go out in seventh place. Rupert and Maggie, not yeah. that those people uh, are anything alike. You have the person who's probably the strategic driving force and the villain go out right before Final Title Council. And you have somebody who played yeah. a kind of under who the radar that? game. Johnny Fairplay. Johnny Fairplay. So Sarah, uh, you're Johnny Fairplay. And you have somebody who played like a kind of under the radar game, but was able to make good social bonds win in Sandra and Mallory. Mm. Wait, wait I, I, have to, I have to be Nick? Said Lou. <laughs> Said Lou. I, Hey, wait, I wish I got. I, hey, I wish I got as many votes as Nick did. <laughs> but why, why isn't why was I travel of a, a, a tie vote? <laughs> I think I think Lil's Lucy actually. Lil's Lucy, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I want to. Hey, me. I can survive on a desert island. But why, why don't you think I can survive on a desert island? I, I, I'm. <laughs> I'm the best at surviving there is. I'm, I'm a Boy Scout. Uh, is is Maggie? Are you still here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't think she is. I can't hear her. I don't think she's still here. Um. All right. So Maggie is now gone. Shall we do? Shall we do a eulogy for the great Maggie Lamac? Lamac. Maggie Lamac, fellow and other pioneer. Pioneer prep. She had a showmance. She found an idol. She won an immunity. She was on the bottom. She took she lots was on the of top. shots. She took a lot of shots. Took, took a lot of shots of tequila and shots at other people. <laughs> she had gotten fights with multiple people. She had a feud with Bailey. She had a feud with Lucy. And even a feud with you, Sarah. She really had it all. Yeah. She had a feud with me, even, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. was with Jack. She went out with the bang. Mm hmm. Yep. Really? I mean, she is. Yeah. She, I. When people remember Survivor Mission Leaders the best, they're gonna remember Maggie first, I think. Yeah, absolutely. As far as a player, she I think I think she was very, very good at manipulating people. But what she was not good at was thinking before she was very kind of um, what's the word? Impulsive. She was impulsive. She was impulsive. We, we, sure. She was branded she was branded as a loose cannon in the first episode. And I think that that was correct. Both of me and you, Jack, called her a loose cannon. Mm -hmm. Like I think that if, had she not found an idol, she could have been, she probably would have been voted <laughs> off. So there were some things to be desired in her game. I think if she would have been less impulsive and maybe thought more before she did things, it could, yeah. she maybe could have made it further. I don't know how much she could have done differently near the end, but she was underestimated for a lot of the game. And then at the end, her threat level was kind of revealed. If she doesn't push too hard for me to go out at eight and instead waits to take me out at seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I guess Who goes out at eight, pass. Nick? Yeah, yeah if, Nick if eight is eight. still Nick and then I'm at seven. Well, at seven, What's... me, Maggie, and Lucy have a plan yeah. to yeah. vote off Jack. But Sarah, but Mike, and three. Mallory also have a plan to vote yeah. off Jack. So that do you think that crazy. do you think the same thing happens? Does Sarah and Mike still tell Jack to play the idol and vote me off? Yeah, I think if we, I, if we found out about your plan, I think at seven I'm a lot more found. paranoid, and I'm like about getting James Clemented, and I yeah. would probably want to start making that move on you. Seven, it, like I think it would have been very different if if Nick goes out at eight. Seven is just like a huge anything could have happened. Like literally, I think anybody yeah. could have recently going and gone out at seven. Because seven, it's really hard to say what would have happened. Because Sarah, you would have told Lucy that you wanted to vote off Jack, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then yep. Lucy I... also knew it from me. I wonder if Lucy yeah. would have told both of them that each other were going for Jack. She probably would have. Mm -hmm. Would case, she though? I feel like she might have just yeah. like. Because I, I think that Maggie probably would have survived longer. Because either me or you would have been home, Jack. Yeah, Maggie I think she would have gone to seven. Maneuvers. Yeah. One of us. Um, one, she definitely would not have gone home at seven. See, my biggest blind spot in both weeks eight and six was I was I just thought that Nick was such an easy logical vote that I didn't think it could be turned on me. But in the universe where Nick goes home at eight, then at seven, it's not as easy or logical for any other person like to go home. That I think I would have been a lot more paranoid and a lot more like maybe yeah. willing to make a move. I and, think that the plan yeah. was to vote off Mike, but. Yeah, and I think yeah. I would have been, and also yeah. there probably would have been a part of me like, hey, I think 
I have this good relationship with Mike because I don't really realize that he actually has a lot better relationship with Sarah. But at that like at that point, I'd be like, I'm not sure if I wanted Mike to go home. Like maybe this is a time that I want to make this move at Sam, you know? Because I have yeah. been planting seeds about the Sam boat. Can we have a segment called "Good Things That Nick Did"? <laughs> I feel like we bash Nick a lot. Yeah, yeah. Nick, we definitely should talk about that. But yeah. I want to have this segment called "What Nick Did Well" and should be acknowledged. Yeah, I think his his best move was like maintaining that relationship with Mallory throughout and making that promise for each other not to vote, not to vote for each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that was definitely one of his best moves. He probably saw her as someone who was going to be super loyal, and he really like. Was the only one on Cerulean to, like, capitalize on that. Yeah. And then, as far as, like, not getting voted out week after week when he was at the bottom, my perception at the time really was that, like, he just got lucky that we decided not to vote him out. Well, no, Nick <laughs> Nick actually had a big... I think his relationship with Maggie was very important. Um, yeah. It actually started at the pre-merge when Maggie met with Nick and Bailey and asked them if they knew about anything about the idol because she knew that Nick had an idol clue. I remember that they thought it was a weird conversation, but Nick and Mal and Nick and Maggie kind of formed a relationship at that point. And it ended up being very important because when Nick was going to go home at final eight, he really pleaded with Maggie about her place in the alliance with the three of us. And made her really think that she needed him to stick around. And she used that to... But when she knew that I was going for Jack, she used that information to basically say help save Nick. So I think that Nick's relationship with Maggie was very important. And ended up Wait, how, did she, how did she use it to save Nick? So I told... Maggie, hey, let's make a move on Nick at final eight. At final, let's get make a move on Jack next week, but off Nick this week. And oh, she and insisted. Was like, she was like, "I want Nick. Yeah. Uh, she, I, I need Nick for another week." Well, yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah, say that, that to me though. She, she, that. she said, "No, no we need she Jack out. We need Jack out." But the reasoning was because she wanted to keep Nick in the game, and she yeah. saw that as her opportunity. Mm-hmm. So I think that Nick really did plant the seeds of. And, you know, but the if, thing is, but the thing is, Maggie never vo- vo- vocalized that to us. So yeah. from how we were perceiving it, that's not how yeah. it went. Down. Yeah, even on Jerry, I feel like yeah. that wasn't. I know we yeah. didn't we didn't know that until later because Maggie just didn't. I don't even. Yeah, Maggie. Just I didn't don't even know she thought us. it was like important. Yeah. 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 That, that, she wasn't thinking yeah. that. She didn't. Maggie wasn't really discussing the game a ton in the in the jury chat. Yeah. If I Whereas, yeah, I feel like. We were, going like every every hypothetical. Were. Yeah. we were talking about every single thing. Maggie was kind of just there in the pot. Yeah. I think that if she would have vocalized that more. I would have been like, oh, dang. Because yeah. in I my head, like Nick was... got completely lucky. Yeah, I feel like if this was like uh, actual Survivor season where we all were actually in the house together and we had to discuss this more instead of just us three texting long paragraphs and everybody else was kind of ignoring us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, like I was maybe... only in that chat for 24 hours. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I didn't have time to scroll back and read everything. Mm-hmm. Whereas I was absorbing every single word into that <laughs> in that in that chat. But yeah, I think... It, it's because it's not that I don't know how to explain this. It's just how we were perceiving it at the time. Yeah. Nick was just like this annoying mosquito that we knew we could slap at any point, but just decided yeah. to kill the cockroach first. Yeah, he was the <laughs> poop on a brick that we could throw away. Poop, <laughs> no, he was the poop on the stick. Oh, okay. That we could yeah, throw. sorry. I, I'm mixing up metaphor. Yeah, yeah. But so sorry. It's because we weren't exposed to some of the relationships yeah. we had made, I think. But I don't know if that would have changed my vote, to be honest. Yeah. At the same time, okay, so even just talking about, like, Nick's relationship with Mallory, like, the thing is, Mallory easily could have, like, exposed everything to Nick at final eight. Yeah. And, like, and that's the thing about Mallory is that she was able to keep these relationships with people even when she voted against them, which is just kind of, like, ludicrous to me. Right, because they never think it's, like, her who's, like... Yeah. Yeah. And, and um... I, she's, I just she's feel like also, I'm... also... She's a comforting character to the bigger characters. Because yeah. I remember I was freaking out about this whole Sam thing, and, like, 
one message from her like mike was talking to me this whole time she he was like it's a good idea and i was still unsure mm-hmm. but then mallory messages me i think it's a great idea one message mm-hmm. and i'm like all right oh wait, yeah we're good <laughs> we're good <laughs> i don't know what it yeah. is about it oh yeah and like through i definitely feel like i met with her during um final seven and final six and i think it might not have been recorded for some reason or like i don't know if it made the episode but like it just made like such like a calming impression on me mm-hmm. i think that's maybe one of the times where she said like jack like i just really like want you to win like i feel like this isn't my game to win i think that's um, what it is like it's just like when i'm meeting with her i don't think she like overcomplicates things i'm like yeah. she just gives it to me and i feel comforted by whatever she says yeah it's like really hard uh, to explain she's one of the best listeners i've ever met yeah like yeah. she's one of those people who she will just like look you in the eye listen you could tell she's like taking in every single word you're saying and like actually mm-hmm. thinking about it like she listens so well it's reflective and, listening yeah Ma- mallory's very it's a it's a form of listening where you repeat things that people say back to them to show them that you're hearing them yeah like if you would say you would say yeah so my my day was so hard you know i had all this homework and exam and it's like wow yeah it sounds like all the stuff you're doing is really hard like i'm sorry like how is it you know like you yeah. repeat back things that people have said that way like you know that they're listening like i know that Ma- i noticed that mallory would do that a lot and it's like a, you're so right those, sam that is a perfect you example of reflective so... example of a reflective listening and you know what i think you are so right in saying that that is what she was doing Sam, you are you had a great perception into Mallory's perceptive. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's reflective. You're, fl- you're reflecting back what people said to you. Mallory, mm-hmm. Mallory was good at making you feel like you're really important when you're talking to her. Oh yeah. Can, wait, can wait. I talk about actually my idea? I've talked about this a lot, but bef- like in Discord and text messages and everything. But I want to get it on the podcast too about yeah. Just if I actually, so if I actually had Mallory's time machine, or if she doesn't have a time machine, if I had a different time machine, whatever, if I could go back in time for one single thing in this season and change one thing, I would at this final seven travel council, after, you know, after Maggie gives out yes. all these gifts and um, we go to vote, Cooper comes back and says, you know, if anybody has a hidden immunity idol, that would be the time to play it. I would stand up and say, Maggie, you know, thank you so much for all these gifts, but I have one last gift for you. And play the idol for her. Just how uh, epic would that have been? How epic would that I have been? I would have been upset, yeah. but it yeah. would have been epic. Yeah. Yes. And I'd probably still Dude, go out at yeah. Final Six, but like, I just feel like that would be just such a beautiful moment. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Not for you, Sarah. Sorry. I do think that this is the most vulnerable Sarah was in the game. That one of Sarah's biggest moves was it was basically the way she made this week. That was so one that was we not had a talk- flashy move. Fla- that was not a flashy video. move. Yeah, it wasn't that a flashy was move, but it was very fla- important. Yeah. I think it was it your best move It was even because it was all over text. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't necessarily describe it in your confessionals, but I think it actually was your best move overall. Mm-hmm. Potentially. Because I think that you could have went home this week if you hadn't done that. Well, the Nick, thing is... I wasn't painting it out to be like Jack and then me, Mike, and Mallory. I was painting it out to be me and Jack and Mike yeah. and Mallory. You know, you know what it was almost like in a way. It was like a texting, like college version of like the buddy system of Boston Rob in Redemption Island. <laughs> Just like making yeah. sure I didn't go talk to the enemy. You know, right, yeah, exactly. Right, and right. like, hey, like, hey, Jack, if you go talk to Nick, then you know what? That's not very trustworthy. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what Mike and Mallory are gonna do. Like, it's not even like exactly what I'm gonna do. What what like, I Sarah Z am gonna do? It's like, hey, like, I don't think that Mike and Mallory would like that. You know, if we're gonna be Final Four together, you know. Exactly. Well, no, it was not. It was not just like I was telling you not to do it. I yeah. was like, I'm also not doing it. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I'm not talking to Nick. I'm also not talking yeah. to Maggie. I think we should both mm-hmm. be doing this. But you did talk to Nick. I know, but I, I, I don't think yeah. I told him. Yeah, I don't think you did. <laughs> Nick, and, I, and you did. Nick, I, and I did talk with Maggie, yeah. and you were like definitely like really pushing me. Against I was like, it. why? And you I think were, like, like I just yeah. feel bad on a human level. Not yeah, like, it's just like I just had such I a thing so with nervous. Maggie already. Like I already had such a big relationship that you, but you, but also I was still so trusting of you that even everything she said, the laying out exactly what I should <laughs> do, just like 
you know, didn't fully get through. I was so nervous. Yeah. I do think if Nick had talked to you also, he probably, because it seems like Nick, Nick could have slapped some sense into you. Like this yeah. entire episode, he was like, Jack should not play his idol this week. Yeah. Jack should not do it. No one's voting for him. Sarah's coming after him in final six. Like he knew everything. And he would have like, told no you one, that stuff. The thing is, no one trusts him at this point, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, but, but also, like, you even see me in the confession on this episode being like, you know, I would be lying if I said there wasn't a part of me was thinking that, like, hey, what Maggie is saying could be true. So right. I think, like, if I met with Nick and he kind also of, like, splashed it. cold water on my face, that, that like, that could have been, like, can- that would have been, like, you know, the child broke the candle's back, and he could have been actually, like, like shook me awake. Yeah, you know? that's true. Because he seemed very, very, like, he really, really strongly believed a lot of a lot of these things, and he was very perceptive as to what was going on. Yeah. He was like, Yo, uh, once again, Nick knows what's happening, but nobody would talk to him, and nobody uh, nobody believes yeah. him when he says exactly but he, what's happening. Yeah. He didn't, yeah. he didn't predict that Jack would actually play the idol, though. That's true. He said, yeah, because he thought I was smarter than I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that Mallory was like, I'm pretty sure that Jack's yeah. gonna play his idol. And Nick's like, No, he's not going to. And if oh, well, I told like, Nick. I had a meeting with him where I was like, let's actually team up and make Jack play his idol. I was like, You need to yeah. act like you're gonna vote for him or something like that. And then he like didn't he like I think behind my back he wasn't about it. Because he didn't mm-hmm. think it would work. I think he wanted to work with Jack. Yeah. But he just didn't get a chance to because Jack didn't respond to his texts. Yeah. But another thing, I think it's funny that um, we are seeing a little bit of a Nick and Sarah rivalry this episode. Where but our rivalry is like the entire. There's yeah. so much of our rivalry. Where Nick says like, "Sorry, I haven't sucked your dick, Sarah." Like everybody else. Has. <laughs> <laughs> and he's um because you I were mean, really fun fact. upset that. The producers what? put us on the same corner of the queue for a reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Nick and Sarah, you guys on that corner. <laughs> oh, my God. Remember, that was this is the conversation where Nick, um, what, where Nick, were you asking Nick who you, he thought the biggest threats in the game were? And he listed oh, yeah. he was like Jack. Yeah. He listed, like, Jack. He listed, like, Maggie. Wait, what was the point of that, though? The point of what? Of him not listing who he actually... Like, he what, what was the point of him playing down well, what he thought my threat level was? I, like, he, just, he didn't want you to be like, oh my gosh, like, he thinks I'm I a threat. I could be anyone. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah if, you're gonna, I think, if you're trying to work with somebody, you need to, like, you don't tell them you think that they're a threat. Yeah, I think, but also at the same time, you don't say that, like, they're not a threat. I don't, I, I don't know. I feel like there's some way he probably could have done it better. I think it was, like, when he compared me to Maui level threat, I was like, what? Yeah. Well, like, at the same I think, time, Mallory is the winner of the season. I know, but yeah. like at the time, but also at the same time, Mallory couldn't have won against anybody else other than the two people that she was against. But Which we'll address um, again in the finale. Yeah. yeah, like I think that in that situation, you do a better job of saying like, "I don't think you're as like big and obvious of a threat as Jack or whatever." But like, that I doesn't what, mean that you're also not. I, I don't. I don't. Know. Yeah. I can see. I, 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 I also hard like. To play. I think on one hand, it's probably not a good idea to ask somebody in the game if you think if they think that you're a threat i think yeah. that's probably a bad I didn't thing ask to ask that. somebody I, well, said, you asked... I said i said well how do you perceive like I, I forgot i asked like what how he perceived people it in the kind game of right seemed now. like you were trying to get him to say that you were a threat no i then... wanted to see i was curious what other people yeah. thought because so... i wanted to see who i should go to the end with i was like i what are people thinking no, no, you know, I think you're saying, Sam. You know I feel I mean? like it's kind of like a no-win like answer. It's like, it's like your girlfriend yeah. asking you, like, "Hey, like, which of my friends do you think is the hottest?" Like, you can't, you can't answer that question honestly. Like, yeah. there's no, there's no correct answer. The only winning move is not is not to play. Yeah, because I honestly says, just wanted to know what he was thinking. Oh, I think that's also though when you're. It's like something. It's a move that you can make when you're in power, but when you're not in power, you can't just like ask somebody on the bottom like oh who do you think the biggest like who do, who do you think your perceptions are because the whole point of survivor is i mean but you don't, yeah but you I don't give away oh yeah it's the thing in the survivor is usually not a good move to show your hand on how you perceive other people mm-hmm. you know like that's why nick it's not it wouldn't be smart for nick to say this is yeah, how but i perceive like, everybody it, it, it's because nick was dr- grasping for everything at that week that i was like just like tell me because he wanted yeah. to work with me, so like, why wouldn't he? He was he, like at that, that Nick, point. He wanted to work with anyone, so I was like, "All right, well then, tell me what you think." 
I think the Knicks' optimal move would be to play more to your ego. Be like, Sarah, you're the thing is, you're the biggest threat in this game, but people don't know it. I think that yeah. the two of us are the big threats, and we need to work together because yeah. we're two of the biggest threats in the game. Yes. I think that's what he should have said. Yeah, he should that, have That's that. perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what he should have said. Um, yeah. But it is kind of a question where it's, 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 not, you're not, it's, not necess- it's a pretty tough question to answer. And mm-hmm. It's usually not going to lead to anything. But I, I thought it was a funny moment just kind of sh- like showing this, this like rivalry the two of you are kind of developing. Yeah. I mean, I don't but, know. If he had asked me that, I would have been like, well, Jack and Sam were huge threats. Mike is a low-key threat. Like, I don't get, like, I would have well, answered how, what I thought. If you tell somebody that you think that someone else is a threat, they can go around and tell other people. Like, oh, by the way, but, Mike. Like, they know they're big threats. Well, you don't, you don't usually tell, but, your yeah, alliance, thing. tell other people that your alliance members are threats. I don't think but, you would have believed him anyways. Yeah. And, like, also, like, me and you, Sam, just voted as the biggest threats from the game. Yeah. So. That's true. I, I guess so. I think I'm always really careful about if the second you label somebody as a threat, that's basically putting a target on their back. Yeah. It, the word threat is a target. So you need to be very careful about who you're putting a target onto. One thing he did say, though, was that he wanted me in the final three with him. He was like, I wanted to be me, Mallory, and you. I, I think he said that three. Which is why oh, I yeah. had that confessional where I was like, am I in everyone's final three plan? <laughs> he, I think he was probably trying to make it seem like he probably wanted to make it seem like he yeah. thought you were not a threat. That way you would believe him when he said yeah, yeah, yeah. you wanted him in the final three, which it seemed yeah, like you did. Yeah, that makes more sense. Whereas if he would have said, oh, you're a huge threat. Also, let's go to the final three. You would have been yeah. like, why, why do you want to have a big threat go to the final three? But I think he could have done a better job of like finding a m- more middle ground between the two. Yeah. I think he could have said, like, what- at this point, everyone in the game is a threat. To yeah. I, you know, that's, you could have said something like that. No, I, I no, I think what you said There's earlier of, would have been the best about you know we're, we're both, both threats and we need to yeah. protect each other and yeah, like that's people also don't realize really. that and like I think that if we got to the end together, blah, 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 yeah, people are always acting in it for their best interest, so you have to yeah. frame everything so that it's in their best interest. Mm-hmm. You need to you need to see that's the thing. Nick wasn't. I mean, Nick is a. I don't want to like rip on Nick again, but like one of the one, I think one of the qualities that like makes up a really 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 good player is being able to perceive no being able to like just have a really good perception of other players which nick usually always had but one thing that he was not able to perceive was that by calling sarah a mallory level threat was something that would make her upset and i think that he needed to like see like oh what is this what is this what is sarah's motivation and how can i make her happy in this conversation it wasn't necessarily that it was that i was like I was trying to gauge who I could go to the end with. That's what I was trying to do. Did you want to go to the end with Nick? So, no, no, because I was just saying by him saying that, I was like, okay, then I need to go with Lucy and Mallory. Well, by, he, by him saying that he didn't think you were a threat and you wanted to go yeah. to the end with you, isn't that a good no, thing No, 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 say? by him saying he didn't think I was a big threat. I was only wanted to go to the end with Mallory and Lucy because then I was like, I'm not going to win against anyone else then. Yeah, if he's like, oh, I oh. still want to go to the end with you. Then you're like, oh, am I going to lose against Nick? I, I can exactly. See, yeah. That I was trying to gauge, okay, can I take like Mike to the end? And by him saying that, I was like, okay, well, I'm going with Lucy Mallory then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which actually, in, in some weird way, might have actually helped his game. Exactly. Because, because if you had because thought I would have had, I probably would have went with at Mike. At that point, I think I underestimated myself at that point, actually, because... Mallory was also, I mean, Maggie was also saying all these things. And I was actually really upset by some of the things she was telling me. And then, like, Nick was saying that. And I was just like, everyone thinks that Jack and Sam are making all the moves. I remember asking my friend. I was like, do you think I'm a good player? Because I was just so insecure about my game at that point. I, I remember I, think I was really trying to convince you that we were on, like, similar levels. And that... Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't do a good enough job of it, but like I definitely that was definitely something that was in my mind where it was I was like, I wanna make well, sure that Sarah It's like I don't think you really could have done anything just because yeah, everyone yeah. was so adamant about getting you out that if yeah, exactly. it would have been so stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I, but there was definitely I feel like there wasn't really much I could have said, but at least I think right. I tried and I realized you definitely that was tried. the perception that I had. Well, like, you framed it as like I think at some point it would be good for you to be like loyal to someone. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, no, I, I, I do like, remember saying that. Yeah, I do remember you saying said that. that. Yeah. And, yeah, like, but... and look, I want it as much as I want to. Like, 
the people I was closely aligned with were just so threatening. One thing that I've learned through Survivor, I think, is that when looking at the end game, sometimes the better question to ask isn't what is my best final three, but it's how can I get to the final three? Yeah. I think that's one of the questions that, and if you're worried too much about, oh, I'm aligned with threats, I'm not going to win. Sometimes you can win against those people. Sarah might have very well won against me and Jack in the final three. Or I don't Jack think so. and Mike. No, not if I hadn't got made the most to get you guys out. No. Okay. I don't think I would have beaten you guys. I think you would have been no. Mike. I could have beaten Mike sure. for sure. I could have been know. everyone final five on. I yeah, say. I think that's why I think getting that, back into I think this, you would have I think you need to take me out at five. Yeah, but the but, issue would be Nick having the idol and winning. Yeah, the but yeah. okay, we've talked about this. We're talking about that later. We need to get into the challenge where the memory challenge, which you couldn't see the board in the episode. <laughs> like I had no idea what Guys, the things uh, were. Well, I think there's I a reason so why we couldn't see the board. I think there's a reason so why we couldn't much. see the board. Oh we couldn't see God. what people were working on. I think I think there yeah. might be a little a little bit of a. Uh, what do you think that is I don't know, what? Sarah. Why, 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 don't, why, don't you, why don't you tell? Why don't you tell the audience? How about some producer by the name of maybe Matthew Israel? I forgot. Who it it rhymes with uh, we're, Matthew we're gonna, Rizriel. We're gonna say it's Matthew because I think it was. I, I'm messed just gonna up, play Matthew anyways. Messed up the answer key for this challenge. And so we were all checked. Lucy and I particularly were checking like a billion times before, but we were never getting it right because the freaking answer key was wrong. Yeah, I think they had like, a, they were working on different versions of the challenge. So there's like a draft of the answer key and like the, you know, the real thing. And then they, they were changing some things around. Yeah. And so, so then they printed they out a version. Back. Yeah. Oh. They had to go so back they... to the footage to see what we had, had before we had kept changing it when they said we were wrong. I think they d- determined that we both had, like, we both still didn't have it right. But, like, I don't know. Well, I, th- I think there are most people that had it right at some point, but Mike was the first one to get it right. I don't even know what it was. All I, know I don't remember. The, I the remember it was a shit was show. Wrong. It was a shit show. The answer key was wrong. But it we doesn't matter anyway, because I was nowhere close to it. Like, I feel like everybody had, like, no, I see, I had it. No, I had it. No, I was really close. And I was just, like, completely just, like, <laughs> I feel I like so it was, bad it was that like mostly it was between me, Lucy, and Mike. Yeah, and something about Mike that also wasn't shown because it was like one of the funniest things. Mike, at some point in the challenge, was like, "I can't do these stairs anymore." He proceeds to take the elevator, which is at the end of the hallway, up and down every single time while we're running up the stairs. I look over. The he's standing there. He's standing there waiting for the elevator. And like, I remember I looked at him. I was like, what are you doing? He just like shrugs. He was like, not. Oh my God. It wasn't show, but it was like, it's three floors. But in that particular building, it starts on floor zero. And we were on floor three. So it was like, you had to take two flights Four. to get from zero to one, two flights to get from one to two, two to get from. So it was a lot of stairs. That's and Mike crazy. wins this by taking the elevator. So props to him. Props to him. Didn't and and you guys like, had to reshoot the Mike winning immunity? Yeah, yeah that was that's all fake. We were all like, Lucy yeah. and I were like, oh, oh. Lucy was what? really mad. <laughs> Lucy's oh, mom sorry. and her sisters were there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So she really wanted to win that. Oh. And then can I give a little first... bit of my perspective in center and yeah. real quick? So oh, yeah. this was immediately after yeah, um, really Tribal nice. Council. And it was immediately after the Tribal Council that I played my last idol. So mm-hmm. um, I think it was even like in the same room. So like I played the idol yeah. and Cooper just set down the idol kind of like on the windowsill right there. And I was just kind of like just sitting there like out for anybody to see. So I remember like at the start of the challenge, it was sitting right there. And then like after a few rounds of going up and down the stairs, I come back up and I remember looking at the windowsill and the idol wasn't there. So, like, oh. what goes through my head was, like, holy <laughs> crap. Like, did they just, like, plan it out in, like, plain sight? Like, anybody could have oh. taken the idol? Like, oh, like, we're going to see oh. if you're actually paying attention. Like, we're going to leave this idol out for anybody to take. So I was, like, freaking out. I think that actually, like, fucked up my performance in the game. That's going to be my excuse. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> my excuse. It probably isn't true. But uh, I think that definitely was, like, my heart was just, like, pounding. Like, holy shit. Like, somebody just took the idol. I could have just had it back. So well, I like, remember you you whispered to me. We were like all standing there. You were like, yeah. Nick, you're like Nick has a bulge in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought like, 
I thought that like if you would have had it somebody else, you would like you would have told me. But I remember right. like, so the so the idol wasn't there, and like I remember just like looking at Nick. <laughs> I was like, does Nick have it? Because he's my like, number Jack. one enemy at this point, and I just Jack definitely, Hill. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he didn't have it at that point, but, no, but so, they found a clue. Yeah. So what actually ended up hap- what actually happened is that you know halfway through the challenge, one of the producers took the idol to go hide it for where yeah. the clue they hit at the challenge was. But I was just like so preoccupied with the thought that it could have just been How taken. You notice these things. I didn't even see the idol at all. Jack just has a so way of just noticing to... idols. He's so attached yeah. to <laughs> part of him. Not not idol clues. Just just idols themselves. Wait. They're like I don't your think horcruxes. I, uh, Wait, Jack, they're literally like your horcruxes. Like, they are. Them. I do. It's like Mike missing <laughs> like then bolt. it was like... <laughs> Sorry. What? God is missing like two screws. Like he just feels like something's just missing. And then <laughs> it's like Jack is missing his two idols. Like a part of him is gone. Yeah. And then when the idol wasn't there anymore, it was like a great disturbance was sent out to the force. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's yes. so funny. Oh, okay, and this is skipping ahead, but one thing I also realized that probably like had no reason to be shown, but which was really fun, was when me and you, Sarah, were like looking for the idol in like. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, oh my I gosh, had... I found these. <laughs> Go ahead, Jess. Yeah, there was like no. I didn't find the clue. I didn't realize there was a clue that was like right above us that could have been like taken any time. So like I, um, I think I asked you, Sarah, if you had a copy of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The memory challenged yeah. grid. Uh-huh. He, he, Jack had this brilliant idea. He was like, oh my gosh, the clue is in the memory challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so we tried to crack the clue in the memory challenge. And for some reason, we were like, where would Matthew Israel hide the idol? So we went to Ross. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so, and then- <laughs> there's a bunch of these lockers in the Ross, like, basement for, I don't know, Ross people to store their <laughs> shit. So, like, we t- I, like, tried to, like, find there's different numbers in the memory challenge. So it's like, all right, yeah. maybe it's this locker with this memory, and you have to try this combination. <laughs> like, inside one of these I lockers is going to be... I was completely just, like, letting you do this. I knew it was not a thing, but I was just going along with it. You were so into it. I, I just made an idol. That was my gameplay at that point, which is keep playing idols. I was just going Ben for uh, Ben mode. Uh, spoilers for the future. And the Jack was just but... really lost without his idol. Yeah. Because, like I yeah. said, I literally thought I had an idol since, like, the first week. Yeah, because, you, you, know, yeah. There was, you had one for so long. Because either because there's the fake idol I had, which I w- thought was real until basically Maggie showed me hers. So right. at least I knew where that idol was, and she even gave me that idol for about two minutes. You're but, right. So basically, that was like the one point in the game where I didn't think at least I had some por- sort of protection. Yeah, and I was gone. Wow, that must be weird. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So sorry for my ranting but about idols, we did. but. <laughs> But so finally, somebody else has a chance to have an idol. Yeah. And Lucy, that is... Lucy's bouncing down the stairs. Lucy spies with her little eyes. A little clue. A little clue. And, yeah. you know, although, so I guess it was a very big, it was a partnership. Like, Lucy finds the clue. Nick yeah, found the an idol. I was, and I was about to say to every single person that, hey, look, guys, there's a clue. And then Nick just snatch it right off. <laughs> Lucy was literally Wait, she gonna was go gonna like, tell hey. everyone. Yes, she was gonna say, "Hey, everybody, there's a clue right there." Jack would have like Matt... straight up. Oh, uh, yeah, you would have. Like, she was that close, Jack, to telling everybody. But then when Nick snatched it, she decided not to say anything. Like Tony, and she talked to him outside. Tony, beginning of Kega. Tony, beginning oh, yeah. of Game Changers episode. Oh, yeah, where just he like runs out there. <laughs> that would have been me. That would have been fully me. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, I would just go and, and then Sari goes, his or no, Sandra goes, his ass was safe till he did that. <laughs> yeah, oh I don't. I think I don't think my ass was safe at that point. <laughs> so yeah. I, I actually really love this Nick and Lucy like duo. Oh yeah, like this is they're amazing. really great. How they how they they drive to the big house in Lucy's friend's car, and they're looking at all the trees. I love how and dysfunctional they are. They're very dysfunctional, but they've been they've been the same little like Cerulean family for the whole entire game. Yeah, but I think this is the first team. This is the first time we've really. Yeah, they've they've been team. They've been in the blue team the entire time, but I don't really think we've seen them really working together until now. I mean, like they yeah. were on the bottom together for a while, but 
they were only forced to work together because they were both in the bottom. And now it's like they're actually choosing to make this pact over the idol. Yeah. And I love how it's like, it's kind of like two divorced parents, like fighting over like who gets the kid. Like, oh, like you can have the idol for a few days and then you like give it back. And this is, like, oh my God. Yeah, it's like your idol, but I want to wear it to like show my friends. Like, Yeah, and, and that's the thing. I feel like they wouldn't have done this if they did if they weren't the two people that were standing right there to like see the idol yeah. like if, just, if nick just saw it or if lucy just saw it and took it down like i don't think they would have told the other person <laughs> but like, well, it wasn't lucy, well, lucy, lucy would have told everybody so. no, yeah lucy would have told everyone so <laughs> yeah <laughs> told so, yeah so it balanced out uh, by just telling each other <laughs> <laughs> it's a compromise jack if you had found it who would you have told anyone i would have told you probably okay yeah, because I think I was just so in with you at that point. I think I would have played it right away. Like I don't think there was really anything yeah. that you could have done, like secretive. Like I don't. I, like would you yeah, have tried yeah. to get me to not play it or something? Like I feel like I would have just. I might have even told Mike and Mallory or something and been like, "Hey, like I think I found the other another idol. Like I'm just gonna play it again just to be safe. Like I trust you guys, but like I'm just trying to keep. I just want to stay alive another week and get up next week." I remember blah, speculating blah, blah. with that about Mike, and Mike was like, "I mean, at that point, if he's found that many idols, he just deserves it." <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, what, if my, what if Jack finds more? He was like, "Well, then he deserves it." <laughs> you guys so me sure. so... five, unless I find like a yeah. fourth title in a row. You know? <laughs> oh, I love Mike. I know. I honestly, think... okay, Mike does not get enough love. He Can doesn't. We talk about he this? really doesn't. Mike plays such a good game. He uses he uses me as a shield. Yeah, yeah. and um, he's just like. He's so nice. Like, even when he was voted out, he was like, best of luck to everyone. I know. We can definitely utilize Mike next time. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like... Yeah. And he's funny. He's really really funny. Honestly, the biggest thing... He's just not shown. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing is the confessionals. You need to show your personality in the confessionals. It's all about the confessionals. And if you don't, you're not going to get the screen time. He's very, very just, like, strategic and nice and confessionals. He's very strategic. He, he, there was very few moments where Mike really showed, I think, his personality. I think he saw this as very much like, this is a game. This is not real life. So I'm going to just play this like a well, business that's trip. The thing. That's the thing. Mike is like, he's like super funny, blah, blah, blah. And then right when he turns on the camera, he's like, this is Mike. This exactly. is what I plan to do. And then yeah. he turns it off. And it's he's like, 10 or 3 p.m. Yeah. So there, are, there are every once in a while where you, where you see someone recording Mike. And then right, and he's he, like, not does really something. aware. Yeah. He's just being funny. Like, he'll be like, yeah, Lucy, like, are you, like, Lucy's out in the doghouse now. Like, she got zero, vote, zero things correct as superlatives. Like, Lucy's talking about how she can survive, how she can shoot a gun. He's like, oh, how many, have you, how many people have you shot? Like, you know, he's, he's, being, he's joking around. He's being funny. But we didn't really get yeah. to see a lot of that on camera. Because he just didn't, do, he, I think he really saw it as, like, you know, I think in, in Evolution of Strategy, they talk a lot about, Brian Heideck seeing Survivor. Yeah, like a business I, was just, trip. I, I was just about to say that. Yeah, yeah. Mike saw this as a business trip. This is not for fun. A business this trip. Is, <laughs> yeah, he, he was here on business. He's here to win, and yeah, that's it. it's true. He's not here for Maggie. Is the opposite. Maggie is here for the show. Wait, Mike he actually told to me play. he wasn't really there to make friends either. Because I remember no? him saying he was like, I forgot what we were walking back from stats, and he was like. He said something about, like, not being there to make friends either. <laughs> yeah. So, again, this is something we can <laughs> talk about as we eulogize Mike in the next episode, but I yeah. think that definitely contributes to how he played the game. Um, I think that actually some of those social connections he could have done a better job with, and that actually could have helped him maybe do better. But He was just, he was um, very loyal to who he was loyal to. <laughs> um, and yeah, he was no. just, he's like, he I, like, I think, a stand-up game. Yeah. And I think he picked the right people to be loyal to, but then, like, he just fell into the trap of being like, hey, hey, yeah, this is kind of getting into next week's. So sorry. He just, he, he didn't have the killer instinct that he needed yeah. to cut Sarah. Yeah. I was going to say, I feel like, in a way, me and Mike are really similar as players. Yeah. You and Mike? Yeah. I feel like we both are have a good social game um, and are good at being loyal to people, but, like, I feel like we both kind of lack the killer instinct. Like, I wouldn't mm-hmm. have turned on Sam at 8 unless I was kind of, like, yeah. forced to by you guys, you know? No, I can definitely see that, Jack. Like, yeah, the killer instinct is something that, like, 
you don't need to have it to be a very good player, but you do need to have it to win. Yeah, most of the time. I feel like there's so, have been probably people who don't have it, but it's a lot, lot harder too. I would, like, I, I would like say it, that Mallory like, had it. Yeah, I think Mallory did have it. No, yeah, no, Mallory did end. have it. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm, no. I just feel like there's definitely circumstances where somebody is, can so. get to the end. Okay, so next week, what we need yeah. to talk about is what was actually what was actually Mallory being strategic versus like just her being her. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No, that's something to ask Mallory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll ask Mallory next week. We talk about the finale. We've thing. literally, we've literally been talking about all of this hypotheticals and stuff for like. You know, ever since this game yeah. ended, us three, like, there, I don't think there's been more than a week that's gone in the big waves chat without, like, a text being sent out about hypothetical. Like, we talk Mostly every Jack. day. Mostly, Mostly Jack. Mostly Jack being, like, <laughs> had a dream last night. <laughs> Just have some scenarios to go through. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you guys for being my um, like... <laughs> therapist. About two therapy. years later, <laughs> we'll still think of things two years later, like, oh my gosh, yeah. what if this other thing went differently? Yeah. Now? And I'll be like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it me... probably turns mostly into me and Sam. <laughs> and then Sam no, me, me, and, um, me and Abby. I'm just like, and... I just shouldn't want to yeah. tiebreaker. But... <laughs> there are even times where, like, me and Abby talk about, like, oh, what if you would actually, like, flipped and went with Kevin and Bailey, like, we we would talk like this stuff. Like, we would go all the way back to the beginning of the game and talk about if we've done stuff differently. It's just it's what we do. It's fun. It's obsessive and it's crazy. Yeah. And that's what happens when you play Survivor. Is that it somebody, infects your brain for the rest of your life. Somebody had a comment about how we we're all unwell. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was definitely. Kind of mean, but like really funny. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> we're really back little into the unwell episode. to play this game. It's- yeah. So one of my and favorite even if moments, you are well, it turns you unwell. But anyways, continue. one of my <laughs> favorite moments from this episode was when Lucy and Nick were playing Seven Nation Army in the car after yes. they found the idol. And Lucy is like really, really getting hype. And Nick's like pretending to be excited. And he's just kind of there like filming. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Lucy and like driving, she's, can we talk about how she's like a really bad driver? Can we talk about how she's in the driver's seat? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not even kidding. I rode I rode in a car once and we almost crashed a couple of times. No, I've heard of a car too. She, Lucy is pretty bad at driving. I've, <laughs> I've, I've experienced it too. I was terrified for my life. No, Lucy got a speeding ticket this summer. Remember Jack with Cooper? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I don't know if she got a ticket, but she got pulled over and she like had to like talk to the cop and like make. But this is like Lucy that and Cooper true. were in the car and she was driving up north. And I remember she got out of the situation where she didn't have to get a ticket by making up some story to the cop. Total survivor move. Oh, my gosh. I, Lucy will tell the story better than I could. So um, I'm thinking, is there anything else really from this episode? There, we have Professor Nick is the title that comes from Nick himself. Professor Nick. Yeah, he gives us some advice. Never give up. They're all kind of the same thing repeated three times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, remember, I love that scene i love that scene i love that it's scene so though funny. where he's on the whiteboard with a chalk and he's basically talking about how he's basically he's guaranteed and, final three is in his mind yeah i think it was just refreshing to see him like actually happy for once because he's been like he's always on the so many times he's always like really pissed off but like in that one he's you can see he has like hope he's excited about the game again so i, really I, like I love professional i love how he goes from on the bottom constantly to he's in the majority yeah. once and all of a sudden i'm a professor i have I'm going to give you the rules <laughs> of how to play Survivor. <laughs> like, love it. it. It turns around for one week, and all of a sudden, he's the professor of the game. I, I do I do love, though, that confidence that Nick has. He never has left. Like, he was on the bottom for so long, and it finally paid off. And he's finally yeah. in a spot where he can see the light into the tunnel, which I think is cool. Exactly. Um, I just, real quick, I feel like it's kind of funny here. I was just, like, so sure that Sarah was, like, with me. I remember at, at one point I was, like, trying to, like, pitch us doing, like, a 3 to one voting out, like, Mike or something. Or, there was some like, <laughs> weird, like, 3 to one vote that I was, like, kind of fixated on making happen. But Jack and I texted so much that week. We we talked so, like, yeah, not even, it like, talked. It was all time. Hi. Yeah. yeah. I know. Actually, I feel like we even, like, talked in person, like, a good amount. Like, we went idol yeah. fishing together. We, like, mm-hmm. met, like at least twice we were, well we were the last ohana standing we, only we were each other. yeah i definitely yeah. no i remember i think sam used to always like send like the ones like the red x's through faces of ohana you like, said one yeah. yeah and then once sam got loaded out i sent one 
when Sam and Maggie so got voted out. Yeah. We have a picture of Ohana, and every time someone got voted off, we would X their face out and change the yeah. like, roomie pick. And so Jack X out everyone's face except ours <laughs> and like, sent it to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, I remember when um I remember I was like so sad after I was gone. Like and I was like, Oh, those two are still in it and like I was like so close so close friends with you guys. So I was like sad that like you guys were in it and I wasn't. So I remember it made me happy, like when I watched the episode, I saw like you guys were like, Oh, it's so weird without Sam being here. Like mm-hmm. Yeah. It it <sighs> is weird. It was weird. You guys like, you guys actually had a decent amount of time where it was like just the two of you and like I was gone. Yeah. But, I remember um, distinctly feeling like it was weird once like Jack was gone. Yeah. I was like I, I was at my friend's house like on her bed curled up in a ball like I don't have anyone anymore like I'm the last Ohana even I mean I had like Mike and people but it's yeah. just not the same. It's like I don't think people in Cerulean would feel the same way. There's something about Ohana that was like we you were just the family. So it's almost like we're a family. I don't know. We talked. So much like over Snapchat, yeah. over group yeah. me, over text. We had no but, yeah, like even just like group. us three where like even like, I feel like we just talked a lot in our I am sport group chat. Oh wait, and that reminds me, in my hangout with Maggie and Sam, we talked about we were like, could you imagine Mike, Nick, Lucy, and Mallory hanging out outside of the game <laughs> for fun? We were yeah. like, never. Like those four are like literally complete opposites of each other. Which actually yeah. though, nowadays like Oh, like seeing like Kevin, Bailey, Lucy. Like you can list these Cerulean people who are like super, super good friends. Like after the season, we all became really good. Yeah, friends but with each other. like, yeah. would would Mike and Mal? I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like different. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, so well, also at the same time, Bailey came to visit me in Kansas City before anybody in Ohana. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So viewers like. Even just like Bailey and Jack are someone you never saw interact in like the season. Because and all of, like, you didn't see it because it didn't happen. You, two years later, you really think... have Bailey going and visiting, visiting Jack Everyone... in Kansas City. Like the, Guys, the first every... time I talked to Bailey, I think was at the after party <laughs> with like her and Kevin. <laughs> me, her and Kevin, like yeah. all talked for a little while. So it was just me. It was all me. I'm dead. You seemed like right before tribal, you were a little bit nervous that you could be going home. Like when yeah. they had a confessional with you. What was, were you thinking that it was probably going to work, like the split? Yeah, or I thought it was going to, no. Oh, yeah, actually, I should say this. I, like, 100% believed that the four of us were sticking together, but there was some, like, weird, like, feeling in, in the back of my mind that I was going home. And I just, like, could not accept that it was because Sarah was turning on me or that, like, Mike was turning on me. So I was convinced that Nick either had the idol A, which he did, but or that he had um, an extra vote, so I was like so scared that like okay, we're because in my head we were splitting votes on him and Lucy. So I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna play his extra vote, or he's gonna steal a vote from me, and he's gonna send me home. <laughs> I yeah, I think that's, that's even the episode like where I'm. I think where I like I I, I like text Sarah like I had a bad dream last night that like Nick pulled out an extra vote and I went home. Remember you said oh, you yeah. had a dream that Sarah went home and like. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. You had a dream. Yeah. Oh, you said uh, you were bawling. <laughs> I was bawling. Um, but no, but anyways, I just but, like, felt like there was something weird going on. Sarah <laughs> said, oh, I will not. I'm not. I promised Jack I wouldn't write his name down, so I won't. But it doesn't mean that I won't, you know, make a plan oh, to get Jack out. Oh, thank you for out. addressing this, because that was not shown until the finale. It seemed like I was talking about Mike the way it was edited. But I was completely talking about Jack in that scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it showed it in episode 11 where you said that, but then you said something about no. it again in the finale. <laughs> no, no, no. I said, I said I promised I wouldn't write his name down, but it, it didn't show me saying, but I, that doesn't mean I, I'm not going to orchestrate his vote out. But it did say I'm not, oh, I yeah. promised I wouldn't write his name down, yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyways, so I think the moment that I realized I was going home was when Nick didn't play an idol or anything. Like mm. that—that that was because I was like I was Why? like because I was just so sure that like he had something because of uh. just like the way he was acting, the fact that he was panicking so much in like final seven, like wanting to meet with me and then like not wanting to meet with me at all in final six, and I'm just like oh like this is because he like he has some idol or fans or something and he's gonna play it, uh, but like our split vote is gonna like offset his idol, so unless there's some weird advantage you know, it's going to work out. And then when he didn't play anything, he didn't play an idol at all, I was like, oh, fuck. It's, it's, it's going to be me. 
I just wanted to ask Jack at one at what point did he realize I was in on the plan, or did you think I was also like blindsided? Because I, I think, think at like, first you thought I was. Yeah, I think at first I thought you were blindsided, and then like. I, I don't really remember if it was, like, things that were said to me in Ponderosa or just me kind of reflecting on it more. But, like, I think by the very next day, I was like, Sarah definitely knew what was going on, and she just, like, didn't vote for me. But yeah. and I was just, I think, because actually, I did record a video, like, the next day, just as kind of, like, a Ponderosa <laughs> video. And I was just like, yeah, I, like, maybe we can release that little clip as, like, a yeah, we Instagram or something. But we I was just should. like, Sarah definitely, like, knew what was happening and she didn't vote for me, which is kind of shady, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's put, let's put that on the Instagram. I'll find that. So, yeah. We, at Tribal Council, we see Jack is sitting further away than the rest of the group. He look, you look a little bit yeah. visibly, <laughs> visibly, like, about to get put yeah. They're, like, joking about, like, people who haven't won immunity yet or something. I'm like, hey, oh, yeah. wait, I haven't won either. It's just, like, I was already <laughs> gone at that point. I know. I was In our mindset, we were like, I mean, Jack's gone. And then we were like, okay, yeah. Jack. They're still there. Uh, yeah, so, um, I haven't won. <laughs> just in conclusion, I was just really dumb for both of these votes. Like, I played a good no, game. I don't know. Just, right, just for myself. The votes are coming in. They come in. Jack, Nick, Jack, Nick, Jack, Jack, the member, the next member of the jury. I don't know what number it is now. Maybe you're, I think you're the seventh member of the jury, and there's so no sad. jury to even watch you. It's kind of sad. Oh, yeah. Nobody was there. Nobody showed up. Yeah, they had but to see the video in hindsight. You were bamboozled. You said you were, you said you were I was. bamboozled. And I was like, wow, it is ripping off Richard Hatch. I know. Because, you know, uh, I wanted to have some clever thing when I went off. You know, but I, I, I would just, I didn't, I wasn't really expecting it to me. I couldn't think of a clever thing at the time. I had to rip off Richard Hatch. Sorry. I'm lame. I'm a lame yeah. survivor, non super fan. You, you get, you get kind of flame out to some extent near the end, but you were a huge force throughout this entire game. I think it's time, Sarah, to eulogize the second member of Keep Your Torch Lit, Big Wigs. I am sport. It's, I feel like Jack was like the top contender to win absolutely pretty much a lot a, a lot of the game no yeah no I mean, jack was a huge threat with his idols we call, yeah, his idols Go- his personality <laughs> i mean we called we called maggie the fan his favorite cat. yeah but jack really was i think the one of the like the sweetheart of the cast if you might say like the the person that like there does seem very very well liked very nice and Everyone that was watching wanted to root for you, not because you weren't the it, people rooted for Maggie because they were because she was entertaining. People rooted for yeah, Jack because I shit, think you were but... you were very. <laughs> Jack, Jack just kind of sits there doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack is overrated. Remember you said Jack yeah. is overrated earlier in this episode. Yeah. But I did. No, I, will I think Jack that. is very well rated <laughs> as an excellent player. Somebody that um, everyone thought was such an enormous threat to win. Because of your idols, but also people were saying that before they even knew about your idols. I think it's also because you were just so well, so good socially that everybody, you were so well liked. And I think the audience really liked Jack and identified with him as someone who was a big <laughs> fan of the show and is just excited to be there. Ultimately, I think that Jack was not able to handle a threat level well enough. And there's a point in the game where I think, I think his relationships really saved him and got him to the final six. But I think that you really got shell shocked when you were almost blindsided at the final eight. Mm-hmm. I actually can't blame you too much for almost getting blindsided at the final eight because you were able to basically be protected through your relationship with Mike. And I think that that's really good on you. Um, but I think that you were, after that happened, you did not, you didn't really play as well. I think that you could have, if you had talked to Nick and Maggie. I think you. I think you kind of played scared after that point, and I think that's also what led to your scared. Trouble. Yeah. Um, I think that had you played more aggressively at the end, you it could have been different games. But I think yeah. that after you were almost blindsided, you really just decided, "I'm just going to do everything Sarah says for the rest of the game." Yeah. And that really was <laughs> what ended up, I think, was ruining your game. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I. I. Not to just like toot my own horn, but like. I really mm-hmm. feel like my pre-merge game is, like, almost flawless. Like, getting into, like, really good alliances, finding two idols, um, like, getting really good bonds with people. And I think I 
I think even like probably before um, like Final Eight, Final Seven, I kind of start coasting a little too much. Mm. Um, I think that I just like I didn't meet with as many people as much as I did. I kind of just started to rely more on like the core of like us and right, like, Maggie. Right. I, I, I don't know. There's just a, a lot of things that happened. I think that just caused me not to play as hard or as well in the post merge. But like, I will pat myself on the back for I think playing a pretty great pre merge game. Yeah, agreed. Definitely fun to watch you and Mister. Who, by the way, has he found a new home? He has. He's actually a lot happier. Oh, really? So I think yeah. Wait, I why? started update. Why? So Mister lived with me through um, my junior year of college because he's kind of like more of like my like family cat. I mean, like obviously, like he's my cat. But like mm-hmm. um, he lived with my mom for a while, and then like my mom was kind of like looking for a new place and like. He couldn't live with her, so he lived with me at the school, at, at Metal Frat at Michigan for Aww. a year, and then he went back to living with my mom. And so my mom ended up actually moving now to New Orleans, all the way from Michigan. Mm-hmm. And she's moving to a place where that um, she can't bring a cat to. And in Kansas City, I just have like a one bedroom place where I already have a kitten because I didn't realize that I'd have to like take in Mister that he would be kind of he would need a place to stay, and like it definitely is not enough place for two cats. Anyways, at the end of the day, Mr. had to find a new home, but he found he's now living with um, this really nice lady who just lost a cat, uh, I think, who was, like, 18 years Aww. old, who, like, passed away, like, just, like, earlier this year, who looked, like, exactly like him, like, a really nice orange tabby, and, like, so, like, Aww. she's absolutely loving him and, like, sending me and my mom, like, a ton of pictures of, like, Mr., like, Is... cuddling and stuff, so, okay. yeah, I think he's definitely... Is this still, yeah, in, still Michigan? in Michigan? It's in like a suburb of Grand Rapids. Yeah, so I, anytime I come back, she already offered to me, like anytime I'm back in Grand Rapids, I can come and visit Mr. So, yeah. So, you will do for Mr. Hey, good for Mr. <laughs> Aww. I'm glad it was yeah. a happy ending. And you know what? It was a happy ending All for right. me on Survivor Michigan. Yeah. Like, honestly, yeah, you know, I went out at sixth yeah. place, which, yeah, you know, it's not the end. It's not fourth place. It's not winning, but. Liz got Liz six. Got six. So. And you know what? I felt like really <laughs> happy with how far I made it and especially being seen as a huge threat. Yeah. Like, you know, it's a better feeling being voted True. out because you're a threat than being voted out because you suck. So, you know what? I have my... Yeah. And you could have been idle out. I did. And I wasted two idols. You know what? I will say to this day, I'm glad I played two idols in a bad way yeah. than getting voted out with two items in my pocket. Right. I'd rather have them mm-hmm. wasted than wasted in my pocket. So let's Go talk track. about our power rankings. Even though... power, These are the last power rankings. By the way, we lost Sam because he's at the market. <laughs> but don't worry, your favorite ones are here. So mm-hmm. let's read the last power rankings. Let's see how they did. Mm-hmm. Because they're predicting, they're essentially predicting the finale. Yeah, right they now. haven't like, seen who it. They think is gonna so win. they haven't been in the time yeah, traveling machine. They haven't seen it. Yeah, they're still they're still in the past. Number five, we have Lucy. <laughs> Lucy remains at the bottom of the list simply because it's impossible to imagine a scenario where she wins the game. The good thing for Lucy is that she'll be able to tell all her non-survivor friends that she made it all the way and had a really good time. Lucy seems like a sweet person, and she's had some memorable character moments along the way. But at this point, she's a supporting character for whoever ends up actually winning. Lucy is the Phyllis Vance of Survivor Michigan, a supporting character who's had some good moments, been present at some big events, but has mostly served to tell stories about other people's games. So can we address this? Yeah, definitely. As if the finale... Yeah, okay. Who's Phyllis Vance? From The Office. She's... Oh, okay. Yeah, I still need to watch that. I'm watching Parks and Rec right now. What? And then I'm watching The Office after. I know I'm catching up on the classics that I miss. That's overrated. (laughs) Don't watch it. I I just got canceled (laughs) by everybody. But okay. So this was this was a good one. I think this was good. No, I don't think they predicted that Lucy would pull off that final four challenge move. Yeah, I don't think they predicted her heel turn because I don't think I think because I think they said she's a supporting character for whoever ends up winning. I feel like she's almost. In a weird way, like the main character of the finale, like she has. Oh, that's true. She is such like 
I feel like she's just kind of like waiting, like in the background, starting to like kind of figure things out in almost like a Mallory esque way. And then she kind of she figures out that she needs to be playing the game, and she just really starts like going hard about you know breaking promises and pulling out idols from her boot and stuff like that. Yeah. In a way that will still not make her win the game. And I think they're right in yeah. saying there's it's pretty much impossible to imagine a scenario in which she ends up winning the game. But like I feel like she does have such a great finale episode that I'm really excited to talk about next time. Agreed. And like, I guess she does support Mallory in her win. Yeah. But yeah, she's she does. like, she is the final support. The background support. She's very like upfront mm-hmm. in all the action. Okay. Do you want to go number four? Yeah. So Mike is number four. And Mike is in a similar position to Sarah in that people see them both as a threat, but unlike Sarah, Mike doesn't have many built-in jury votes, and after his big week last week, he's really faded back into the background. It's not that Mike couldn't win, it's that he'd have to find a way to get people excited about voting for him at tra- Final Travel Council. Much to my chagrin, Mike seems to be like the Jeb Bush of Survivor Michigan, a perfectly competent <laughs> player with a natural skill and a pedigree for the game, but has consistently been able to do, unable to do anything flashy or exciting. That would earn him jury votes or place better than a fourth in a primary. Yeah, I say I like the like person. Mike. Good analogy. Agree about like getting people excited, but I don't know. I think he he could have put up a good fight uh, at FTC. Yeah, I feel like if he goes against you, he loses for sure. But I feel like against, against Nick and against Nick Nick Miller Lucy, he probably wins. And I, you know what? And going back to the comparison from a few weeks ago, maybe the Andy Dalton comparison is kind of accurate. Like, I was kind of crapping on it earlier. I feel like he probably is, like, a middle-level player for the season in that he can – he probably loses to, like, the top half of players, and then he right, right. beats um, the bottom half of players. Like, not no offense to those people. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. you know, he's kind of, like, perfectly in the middle in which there's, there's some travel councils that he – final several councils that he wins against and there's a good amount of people he also loses against but that's not going to say he hasn't played a very competent game exactly he just wasn't as flashy about it yeah exactly he doesn't make those big long (laughs) touchdown passes like he's not he's not passing the homes out there he's not lamar jackson yeah he's you know he's a game manager (laughs) he's a game manager and you know what sometimes that allow and you know it he yeah (laughs) (laughs) number three we have nick Nick continues to remain in the game and slyly climb his way up our power rankings. He found himself an idol this week, and given his relationships with Mallory and Lucy, he's gone from being a perpetual target for votes to a potential finalist. The question for Nick is, can he keep himself calm and not aggressive enough to get enough votes at a final tribal council to win the game? Or is Nick our heroes versus villain Sandra, a villain character from the beginning who, despite not being able to execute many strategies, had his finger on the pulse all along and is able to get enough jurors from the opposite starting tribe to see his case and give him the win? Wow, that was some pretty good insight, yeah, honestly. Yeah, it definitely is. But I feel like that actually kind of gets to his main fault in Final Travel Council is that he wasn't really calm and non aggressive enough. I feel like a lot of us were maybe put off by I, i'm sorry i'm getting too much into crap on nick again when nick really we'll, had, we'll talk yeah. yeah we'll talk more about this next ep- exactly. next week and nick will obviously be on to yeah he will to obviously his Whoa, spoilers <laughs> nick will maybe be on if he's able to travel time travel yeah because look we have our side that we perceived at the time yeah. but then obviously he has his side that he perceived yeah and it's only fair if we both get to say it so, exactly. So, you know what? Yeah. T- take out what I said about him. <laughs> so, for number two, it is Sarah. Whoa. Whoa. So, it pained us to put the last KYTL member standing in second, and it certainly wasn't because she's not a viable winner. On the contrary, Sarah beats any combination of the other four she sits with handily. And, and, that, and that's true. This is me saying this as a side that's definitely true. <laughs> um, the problem is can she get there? And she, she didn't. Um, <laughs> sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Sarah's put in a lot of work, but all of her friends now on the jury, and only some of them are fully clothed. <laughs> At Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Much like an Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. Is that the right? Sophocles? Yeah. Oedipus Rex, but yes. Yeah, Sophocles, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sarah's fatal flaw <laughs> could be her hastiness, both in the pre vote. The higher ranking Oracle has warned her about. Oh, you didn't listen. You didn't listen to Teresa. Teresa, how do you say his name? Remember from Teresa? Teresa's? Teresa's? Uh, the guy who had his eyes like torn out. 
Mm, I forgot his name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I know, I know. I'm I'm just trying to show them that I get all the references. It's all, they're it's challenging. All the Percy, it's all the Percy Jackson books. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just trying because they challenge us to get all the references this mm-hmm. time. So I'm just trying to mm-hmm. confirm that I get their references. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, take- <laughs> way too long. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, both in the brief the power ranking orc was warned about Anner Hunt for the biggest threat, so it's led her to vote out Sam and Jack, only to realize that she was the biggest threat all along. Can Sarah reverse her fate, or is she subject to the format of all Greek tragedies? Well, I was one cross, yeah. one might cross away from from winning, so I'd say that's pretty tragic. I'd yeah, say it's a great it's tragedy. A, it's definitely a tragedy. I don't know who told me to cross it off. I don't know if it was Lavana. <laughs> I don't know if it was Jeremy. It was probably AJ, to be honest. But in any case, this, the the island got me. The island got you. Yeah. But okay. we'll talk more about it next week. Yeah. Number one. Let's just give them an applause. Because they, we, these guys put Mallory number one. Even Dr. Strange can't see a scenario where Mallory doesn't make the final tribal council. And she deserves it. Her relationship with Mike, her pact with Nick, buying ice cream for Lucy. Mallory has really put in the work to get here, and we're so proud of her. The question is, can Mallory present a case at Final Tribal Council that will make the jury feel good about giving her the win? Yes, she did. Sorry. (laughs) Voting out Mike may be the key. Mallory is Survivor's Duncan Robinson, who, by the way, is a football player. I know that reference. They were pulled from the lowest ranks of their respective games. Parentheses, dunk from division. Oh, wait. Was he not? Um, was he basketball? Yeah. Was football. Nah, nah, oh, nah, wait, nah. I was thinking of Denard. He played for Michigan. Come on. I know. I was thinking of Denard. Denard also played for Michigan. He was football. All right. Yeah, sorry. I know I know who Duncan is. I love basketball, okay? <laughs> Ugh, okay. They were pulled from the lowest ranks of their... Dunk from Division Three basketball, Mallory from whatever survival club was trying to sign up for. <laughs> and they both put in the work and demonstrated the natural skill to reach the levels higher than anyone thought. Dunk to the NBA, Mallory to the top of our power rankings. Wow. Wow. They, they saw it. They've been putting her, like, at the top or near the top for a while now. Like, at least since the merge, I feel like, so... I know. Props I was to struck. our power rankers. Can we give a thank you to Joe and Paul for... Yes, great power thank rankers. you for Joe and Paul for going above and beyond yeah. what we ever thought power rankings could be. They're so funny. They're so they great. They put so much effort into it. They're never late. Like, I know we're late. Yeah, we're always things. late. They're always giving it yeah. exactly They never time. go to the market. They, they, they never go to the market, market a single time. <laughs> so, you know what? Now that they don't have to do it anymore, at least for a couple months, yeah. I don't know. Oh, um, can we officially they, extend the olive branch to them? You know, I think for them ranking Mallory first in, this, um, in the in their last power rankings, we, we have will to invite them back. The olive branch for season, season three. three. Yes, we will be back for season three, whether you like it or not. Yes, we are good friends with the season three players as well. Yes, we also good friends with season four players. Also good friends with season five players. So you I don't even like the season six while, players though. for a while. <laughs> season six has not happened yet. Yeah, Actually, we got that question: where where can we apply for season six? Season six will probably applications will probably go out in a couple of weeks, honestly. So this is Sarah from the future. Future even more future than where when this podcast is recording, saying that season six applications are now officially out. Link in the Survivor Umich bio. Yeah, you should go apply if you are at, if you are a student at the University of Michigan and yeah, just just letting you know. You'll have like all of winter break, Christmas break, and then interviews will probably be around end of Christmas break. Yeah. So Please, that's, that's, please, please, if you're at the University of Michigan, sign up to play this apply, game. Apply, apply. It was, it's by far the best decision I've ever made in my life. Um, and you know what? Maybe we'll give you a tip. One of the, qu- oh no, I shouldn't say that. Never what? 
<laughs> give them extra credit. Says, yeah, give them extra credit. If, the they listen, if they listen this far in this podcast, they should get some extra credit. Um, this is true. Yeah. Well, one of the questions is gonna is who's your favorite Survivor Michigan player? <laughs> if you put one of us, you may or may yeah. not be, have a leg up. Just yeah, definitely. Know, and if you put Matthew around. Israel, you will have a leg down. Autom- <laughs> automatic not in. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we love Matthew. I love Matthew so much. <laughs> so, seventh place rankings: Cooper versus Maggie. Oh, I really like what? Oh, uh, they're such different players. They're such different players, <laughs> but they both and like different could people. Win. <laughs> it's a thing, and I feel like they both are kind of like different than what do you expect them to be? Like, I feel like Cooper, yeah. has like this kind of like. You know, goofy little grin, nerdy boy going on about him, but he definitely can be cold blooded and get to the end. Oh, yeah. And, and, and then Maggie's actually the opposite. Maggie comes off as savage, but she's actually yeah. like a teddy bear. Exactly. Yeah. And she's good so, at making those social know. bonds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Honestly, this is hard. Like, I want to tie them. Yeah. I truly think it's a tie. Okay, yeah. So who, well, let us know. Who, let us know. Who wins in more scenarios, though? I feel like Cooper. I feel like Cooper probably does, but also I feel like there's I, a lot of scenarios. I'm just like thinking about different universes. Like I feel like there's times where like Maggie gets the end as like a quote unquote goat, and then actually pulls out the win. Like I feel like Maggie mm, might make it yeah. the end in more situations. I don't know. Oh, this is so hard to say. I think it's the opposite. Really, I think Cooper makes it to the end more because Maggie is always perceived as a threat around yeah. like seven or eight. I don't That's know. That's true. But Cooper kind of slinks his way. I don't know. He does slink. If it was like a final two of Cooper and Maggie, who would you vote for? Oh, it depends on the game they played. Yeah, I know. That's a that's a dumb question, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know for this one. I'm like, I'm truly stumped and I need help. Yeah, so. I feel like, yeah. But let, let's, let's open this up. At, we might have to do Twitter. a poll. Yeah, yeah we but, might have to do a poll. Yeah, KYTL podcast. Tweet us, we'll, or maybe we'll do a poll or something. Who do you think is the better seventh, seventh placer? Because me and Sarah are stumped. Maybe we'll poll on, on KYTL Insta as well. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's good idea. For sixth place, it's Liz versus Jack. That's also a really tough yeah. one. I think, um, oh. in my Both opinion, super, you guys to be... are more similar, though. I think we are pretty similar. Are both really good social games? Yeah, and we misplay and, idols. Yeah. But and in my opinion, yeah. yeah. In my opinion, to quote the great Alex Saul, I think <laughs> it's Liz. <Stop. laughs> that was so good, yeah. That was uh, probably the best <laughs> thing you've ever said on this podcast. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I, I, I think that Liz is. I think she is eventually seen as the son, as Mallory refers. Aww. To her ass, She's but like a true I feel sunshine. like I feel like there's a lot of situations where people are more willing to bring Liz to the end than me. Like I feel like yeah, you come off as more threatening. Yeah, and like Liz, like got out at six by like this, you know, barely just because of a misplayed idol, which I guess I kind of was too. But like you know, I saw obviously did not want to vote out Liz. I was kind of did it more to save Tarowski. Whereas right. with me, you know, you didn't want to, but you did. You did. You wanted to vote me out. <laughs> so, like, I feel like she probably gets close to the end more often than I do, where I'm, like, more obviously a threat that you want to get out, even at, like, final 10, final 9. People are obviously are already starting to see me as a threat. But it's like, if you guys both make it to the end, you guys both, like, win, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely so think it's, that we it's have a lot of similarities. So it's very close. It's mm-hmm. very close. Maybe maybe list slightly above for the slightly less threatening factor. Yeah. Like the more chance of making it to the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was also a tough one though. That wow. is tough. Yeah. So maybe we we can put up a poll for that one too. And I oh, feel like well, Liz, yeah. Liz will blow me out, but we can we can put it out. <laughs> we can we can we put it out there. If if we don't like the results, we won't share them. <laughs> 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 well. We have one more episode coming up with many, many guests. Yeah, and that if you I'm think sure you'll want to hear from, 
if you think we've already talked about too much about why we think Maui is a good winner, then you probably shouldn't tune into the next episode. But no, you know I, I, <laughs> I have just started. I've just started. I, my... I don't. I don't want to just talk about Maui. I truly no. want to hear Nick's side of everything. No, and, and... Oh, I feel like this is honestly, literally one of the great like final travel council debates. Like it's up there. You know, people talk a lot about Cal Rob. To talk about um, token teams, I guess, about China. What, what are some other final travel council debates? Oh, what, heroes, villains, wrestlers. I was just, oh no, I was going to say even heroes versus villains, like Parvati. Oh, oh yeah, how'd I forget that? Yeah. yeah, that's definitely a big one up there. I feel like this is a lot of, this is up there with those where people are in the comments that they're like, how the fuck did Mallory win? Like, my egg salad did better than her. And then people are like, yes, Mallory, you're really I'm so glad on- people. I know, yeah, like, you're, because, you're really caught up on that. I am, I am, I am. Because you know what? Unless that's a really <laughs> sly egg salad. <laughs> okay, Ooh, sorry. That's the end of this podcast. We've, we've done this for too long. This, <laughs> <laughs> and with that egg salad note that we got from yeah. the market, we're going to... <laughs> Yeah. Go to the market to get an egg salad. Yeah, that egg salad went bad. That we've talked been talking about egg salad for too long, and it's stinky now. It's it's stinking up this place. Let's just let's let's put an end to this. <laughs>